you guys uh, have just come from the uh, the predecessor ship, and you're now making your way towards the ancient jungle. The the far outer reaches of the jungle region, untouched even by most heroes. You'll have to pass through them in order to reach your destination. But you understand that there are primordial forced spirits living in these ancient woods, similar to the elemental spirits you faced once before in the Weald, which gave you pretty trippy experiences. Mm -hmm. um, you've definitely had time to rest. I would say this is like a day later, so if you're missing spell slots or focus points or whatever, def you know, go ahead and clean that up because you you absolutely have time to. Like question, yeah, what up? We didn't talk about this at the end of last session. Did we get a hero point or hero point. anything like that? Uh, I would say you got a hero point. Yeah. Um, you guys are have to give me one sec. I have to address something very quickly. I probably don't need to prep through regenerate since we're really gonna come to some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, dismemberment primordial. Like, okay. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> Sorry, the the secondary power brick that I use for my laptop out here in the living room, it loves to do this thing where it just doesn't work unless I unplug it and plug it back in. And then it Lovely. works. Um, Technology, everybody. Yeah. So, um, you guys are kind of making, or you've made camp. It's probably early morning. You're you're a few hours shy of reaching the ancient jungle, so you have a moment to kind of collect your things and maybe talk a little bit before you get there if you want. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Or or you're welcome to just get right in there like whatever you want to do what do you think we're gonna see a bunch of trippy shit like we did last time what what did we say last time? what happened last time uh well we ended up in orc territory we did <gasps> was that when i rescued you from the cages and saw it uh, yeah that sounds about right and then i had to fight gorhelm you fought gorhelm the real guy did you win no Oh, that makes sense. Well, I fought Orcs and didn't win, but then we did win in real life, so maybe that bodes well. Who else was there? Victor? Victor and Tath. Well, get ready for some trippy shit, guys. Victor, <laughs> killed, Victor killed his sister and Tath. I forget what happened to Tath. Something with her friend? She got ambushed by assassins in the, in the alleyway that were trying to guilt her. Yeah, that's right. I remember that now. Except I wasn't there. She just told me about it. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. did, did we get any XP or money from last session? Uh, nope. <laughs> Who would we be paid by, man? <laughs> the Tarask is like, here's my quest! <laughs> Found the Tarask's hoard. <laughs> what does he need money for, right? <clears throat> While they're getting Rhea... Blah, 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 blah. While they're getting ready... Freya will be uh, kind of like brushing out the horsey and feeding him and maybe braiding his mane, trying to sweeten up the horsey. Mm. Okay. <laughs> You're... Yeah, the, the horse is taking quite a liking to Freya. I think she'd rather hang out with the horse than us. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice horse. <laughs> maybe she's vying for that friend of nature title. Not, don't think about it. The stick chose me. All right, the stick doesn't <laughs> chose anybody. No, the dragon head chose you. You chose the stick. That's true. <laughs> you are friend of nature. Freya is friend of animal. Okay. So there are animals like, in nature, mm -hmm. so there's a little bit nature of Nature is a much here. broader category. category. Yeah. It, it involves much more. So guys, I, I had a thought. I just realized true. something. Uh, um... The uh, those those soldiers killed the heroes in the guild hall, but they had apparently put shackles on the guild leader. Do you think they were trying to capture her? I mean, they were trying to capture too. us. Yeah, they they're just like putting shackles on people. It's a really good combat move too, whether you want to take them alive or not. They kind of changed their mind halfway through. 
Hmm. It is possible. Where it's do you think they would have taken us? I don't know. One of their many forts nearby. And I don't know if they might, they might. And they might be coordinating that with other other guild halls. Like they might be trying to kill the heroes but capture the guild leaders for whatever reason. Who knows what the kingdom wants? And they must know something about the terrorist attack. It was too much of a coincidence. It was. It also would make more sense. The guild masters have knowledge and are generally more powerful. Mm hmm. And Silence would have had to have backing. I mean, it's not like they could have pulled off such such a big thing on their own, right? They're and not that big. How, well, we don't know how big they are and how f far their influence spreads. Remember, I'm... they ended up working with the the orcs in the tundra. Yeah, and Ripper Jack. I don't know who he's affiliated with. I don't know. Maybe the Ascending King just got mad that the guild was the only one that could teleport. And they wanted to pull the crystal up. Huh. Jealousy makes teleport. people do crazy shit. I'm still holding on to my teleport spells in the hopes I can ever use them again someday. <laughs> Maybe you can find a different way to make it work. I don't really get all your magic gumbly gook though. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'll find some other way to get it to work. Maybe if I can find KL, we can work up something, or if I can get a, a one of those one of those fragments, one of the sh one of those fragments of the spire, I might be able to to use that. Every time we touch one of those, it teleported us away. I know, but if we can stabilize it, I might be able to channel its power. <laughs> Reverse <Yeah>. the polarity. Sounds like the of an evil wizard or something. I don't no, know. no, yeah, that's why I'll need KL. <laughs> <laughs> Not evil. He's a very good boy. He's had a very Drastic alignment shift. <laughs> Although he still is the same alignment and still has the same deity, but he's on a different different outlet on life. The, the new villain Warpo, just a guy with warp crystals tied to his body, like all <laughs> over his body. He touches you and teleports you to the middle of the Obsidian Kingdom. Warpo! <laughs> He takes one step, oh. trip, teleports himself into the <laughs> fucking ocean. <laughs> That's the end of Warpo. Nice knowing you, Warpo. Oh. I like the movie The Jumper, or the, the Leaper, or whatever that's called, where they can see a picture and teleport there. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I yeah. think it's Jumpers. Jump, yeah, or jump, yeah. Jump, Jumper or something. I actually liked that movie. Yeah, yeah Jumpo. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, Jumpo's the villain in that movie. Yeah. An obscure movie that I don't know if anybody's ever heard of, but it was a good one. I, 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 saw I definitely haven't heard of it, but I'm a baby, yeah. so. Pretty sure I saw that movie. Oh, there <laughs> you go. So you were three for two. Oh, Guys, I think we're almost there. The music's I, I, changing. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. So, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, up ahead of you, you, uh, you see. Uh, part of the jungle kind of open up where the forest goes up these cliff faces and in the valleys there are waterfalls and rivers and there's a fine mist hanging in the air everywhere creating rainbows where the light shines through it. This feels like a place of great natural power. This jungle's not so bad once we have that stick. It's very peaceful now. It's kind of a pretty place. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Guys, am I am I am I tripping or is there someone falling from the sky over there? <laughs> there's, there's some I, was gonna, air I was gonna say that looks like a look on a parachute. <laughs> I, that's not perfect, but it, it's work. It's beautiful. Pretty sure it's actually like a leaf or something closer oh, to the okay. camera. Yeah, probably. yeah. Sorry about the quality. Thanks for giving me shit about it, everybody. <laughs> All right, good night. I defended you. Thank you very much. <laughs> really appreciate you derailing my fucking campaign. All right. Because uh, I saw it and I was like, I better not say anything, and I hope no one else does, otherwise he'll get real offended. Yeah, these <laughs> other two do look like birds. It's just this one that's like a little bit too close. Uh, I think it's like a leaf or something. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I thought 
thought it was uh, one of those flying dinosaurs. Ooh, oh, like sure. a pterodactyl? Mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. Pterodactyl. <laughs> Baby pterodactyl, yeah. Sorry. Oh, See, we lost the cool picture now. Look what you guys did. No, no, I, like, I liked the picture. It was pretty. I want the picture back. Let him parasail bring, around. Bring back the picture. Time. Picture of Riot. You guys threw off my groove. I want the pictures, Dan. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Throw let's, you guys let's, out of the fucking window. Let's just go see what, be what, what wonderful things we have in store here. That oh, it's so pretty. Just don't look up. Just, just, just scroll down. Matt, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one doing it now, man. Oh, look at the rainbows. That's a very pretty rainbow. Hey, while we're off track, do you remember why I set an alarm for 7:30 p.m. that says "Get up, cunt"? Nope. You don't. You don't miss. It means game Tuesday. It means game started. You <laughs> late been for Tuesday. <laughs> Probably. I like the name of it. Though. That's what mine should say in the morning. It's your Australian alarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Billy Butcher alarm. <laughs> good one, man. Thank you. That was a good show. You can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come on. Demonetize right. the stream. Yeah. Demonetize. We lost your sponsorship. Not for the ad. All the ad. How will Mark live? Paid <laughs> off his Twitch ad. I'm sorry, Mark. I'll write you a check. <laughs> God forbid we ever get any sort of popularity, it just instantly goes away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a warning if if I'm ever reported for inappropriate content, and then I'll just check off the mature filter or the mature box. So you just uninvite Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Matt can't play with us anymore. Just making to where people, when they look at the channel, have to click a button that says "I ex uh, I accept that this channel contains mature content." So mm -hmm. that's all I have to uh, do. Yeah. But. Gotcha. All right. It's like a PG-13 movie. We get one swear. All right. How, how long can we derail this campaign? No longer. We've progressed through the valley. Thank you, Jeremy. And you're welcome. All right. Wow. Suck so up. you guys are uh, <coughs> you are walking through the mist-filled valley of the ancient jungle. You hear the distant calls of dinosaurs and other ancient forgotten creatures in the trees. But none of them bother you, on account of Matt's magical stick. Air it's stays like so broken. Air stays very close to Gron, just in case she accidentally like wanders more than thirty feet from him. The, the stick is like a class feature that breaks like an open world game. Like I finally get like Mordheim's mansion or something, and then like there's no more night encounters because you're in a mansion. Like it feels like it's something I broke on purpose. It's just Majora's mask from Breath of the Wild. Nope, nobody nobody knows what that is. Okay. I'll I mean, we played the shit out of that game, but I don't think we ever got the Majora's Mask. Does it make, like, monsters not attack you? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. It's worth noting that the Staff of Tanaya only works on neutral, aligned, unintelligent yeah. creatures, which is a pretty small fucking subset of things, so... <laughs> Everything that's dangerous in the jungle, though. How, yeah, how often Trent... have we been uh, ambushed during the day, though, by... Like neutral aligned animals. That hasn't happened very often. Yeah, I don't think it's broken. Thanks, but it's, it's certainly really nice to have in the jungle. Anyway, um, so as you guys are traveling through the ancient jungle, the mist kind of gathers around your bodies and it becomes thicker, more fog like, making it a little bit more difficult to press forward. You, it starts to get to where you can't see as far ahead of you as you could before. Well, get ready, guys. This is when it starts getting trippy. Uh, okay. Uh oh, stay close. Is, Careful of the stick. Is the fog gonna do something to us? Oh yeah. <laughs> don't don't inhale too deeply. If you find yourself Aerosol's somewhere that you are not, <laughs> don't worry. It's just a vision. Okay. Nobody's ever overdosed on fog before. Can the visions hurt you? Yes. Oh okay. no. <laughs> Physically. <laughs> <laughs> no, mentally, you're in for a wild ride. Okay. Maybe these will be different. Maybe these will be happy. They're like, wow, you've actually made it this far. Here's a happy message. Maybe since we already uh, 
went through this once before, Gron, it'll just ignore us. Uh-huh. Yeah. Comforting. And I've got the stick. Are primordials neutral creatures? <laughs> They're not unintelligent. Oh, yeah. Pretty smart. It'll be alright. Press on forward. you guys see that? Hmm? See what? Oh, just kidding. Continue on. <laughs> the That's the most out of character thing Gron has ever done. <laughs> Aeris uses, uses her mage hand to just give him a light punch on the shoulder. Oh. Loosen up. Aeris right. uses ghost sound to make like the sound of something snapping at, uh, at Gron's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spook right. the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Gron, you can't see the rest of the party anymore. Uh, none of you can see each other oh, because no. of the fog. And Gron, uh, it's starting to get really cold from your perspective. You can't see anyone else in your party through the fog anymore. And the fog is starting to turn into more snow than fog, like kind of oh. almost blizzard conditions. Oh, I'll put my winter gear on then. Don't want to be caught on the blizzard without winter gear. Meanwhile, Gron's horse is like, where have you taken us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there's no horse there anymore either. Oh. So it's just... And as the as the, the snowy wind kind of clears a little bit, you find that you are unmistakably in the tundra. Oh, why does my visions always take me to the tundra? <laughs> Because you won't shut up about it. <laughs> I, I know that. So you're now standing ankle deep in snow. I'm going to look around and see if there's any reason why the visions took me here. Okay. Well, upon a, a kind of brief glance around, um... You notice uh, up ahead are a couple of pretty simple-looking grave markers, like just two wooden crosses stuck in the snow. Uh-oh. I'll go see who passed away there. Okay. Well, when you get up there to the, uh, to the two markers, you, um... You're able to make out a, a couple of small features, um, small personal effects. So there's like a helmet and like a, a maybe like a belt or something. And it, these seem to be graves dedicated to your father and half sister. Father and half sister. Uh, Shaler. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting, but not to my mother, just father and half sister. Half sister over there. Interesting. Okay. Um. Personal effects. So yeah, I don't know. I'll just like look at the uh, the personal effects then. Cool. See if I recognize them. Uh, they they don't seem to be significant other than just you know identifying the the graves, but um, pretty soon you you feel like the snow is beginning to kind of gather up being kind of picked up by the wind and, and swirling around you. And through it, you see faded visions of, like, uh, slaves being freed from Grim Legion camps and the, the, the dwarves, like, retaking their tunnels and all of that. Basically, the, the tundra, like, kind of rejecting the Grim Legion, the Grim Legion like falling apart, people being freed and taking back their land and their lives again. Mm -hmm. And then you hear a, a voice. Um, and this voice is uh, it sounds kind of distant and echoing, but it's, it's very feminine and almost motherly. And the voice kind of crackles like the sound of bark or like tree limbs in the wind and it, and it says 
you have done well. But more work remains. What more? The tundra is free. The tundra may be free, but so many toil and slavery in this world. My earth screams in agony, torn open and abused. And through the snow you glimpse the fiery engines of war, the obsidian kingdom, tearing open ravines, taking all the natural resources they can, leaving behind barren wastelands in their wake, people in chains slaving away at forests burned to ash or, you know, clear cut. And the voice, the voice that sounds like nature itself comes to you again. It says, your work isn't finished. I see, I see very many parallels between these and the orcs. If this is what you want of me, spirits, then I shall help free them as I freed others. You must speak for those who cannot. The trees, the woodland creatures who suffer in silence, whose homes are taken and ravaged. They will pay. All right. Well, that's Gron. Obviously, we're going to have to do some meanwhiles here. You guys mm-hmm. have, have been through this song and dance before. So Fun I stuff. hate I, I hate that art now. It's gone forever. Um, <laughs> Delete. Can't look at it. Take a picture in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's on, it'll assholes. be on the stream. Perfect. <laughs> assholes. All right. <laughs> okay. Pulling in the next. See, the that next. one wasn't so bad. I was very happy. What's, the yeah. world is being ravaged by the Obsidian Kingdom. What's happy about that? Look at this! Mine was much happier. <laughs> this is a catastrophe. Look how this happy is this water. looks. Oh, <laughs> so colorful. Look at all the not reds. Happy. Not happy. <laughs> <laughs> how it's happy these work. people look. <laughs> All right, Rillian. Oh God, why? Why are we? Of all the people. I mean, I knew this was gonna be yours. What were you thinking? You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're the god of murder lover, so. Yeah. So, Rillian, you are standing in the middle of a battlefield, stretching off for miles in every direction. The stench of fresh dead is unmistakable. This isn't real. This, this isn't real. Where the fuck am I? Oh god. You hear whispering voices out of your peripheral all around you. And they say, His hold on you has not let go. He fights. You're almost free. But his grip has not loosened. And the, the handprint on your arm kind of throbs, aches. Yeah, well, he's going to have to try a hell of a lot harder than he is right now. I'm not giving in. We grant you a choice. We have brought you here to help you. But if you fear, you may leave this vision and pass unharmed. 
However, right? if you so choose, awaken and gather your friends. Come here and face him inside your mind. Where is this? If you're able to defeat him, his grasp on you will release. You will be free of his influence forever. Where can I find him? In my mind? We will bring you back here once you've reconnected with the others, if you so choose. Or you may leave and continue to walk your life in his shadow. <laughs> As if I'm gonna let him decide my life. We will be waiting then. And Rillian's just gonna like close his eyes and kind of like, this isn't real. I'm, I'm gonna be home soon. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so you will wake up and you'll be able to kind of, you're you know you'll want to reconnect with it with everyone else to try to go back in there and deal with that. But uh, obviously we got to get through what everybody else sees first. So, alrighty. is thing. Mm. Oh, there we there it is. Sorry, I'll just need a sec on this one. I like I like that Jeremy thinks we're gonna go back into his weird mind palace and fight a god for him. Gather out to my mind palace, we're gonna go fight evil god. It is an optional, it is an optional boss. You don't have to do it, but if you do, it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> How can we turn it down? Since when have we ever turned down an optional thing? Oh, time yeah. for Mark Cutsy. Oh, this must be Eris's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freya. Plot twist. Um, you awaken in a room. There are glowing screens in the walls, and through a giant window, you can see the world beneath you. You yourself are wearing a silvery dress. I, like, look down at her dress and be like, huh. I guess this is what they were talking about. Until, like, step towards the big window. And big is true. You notice that you yourself are actually very small. You're, you, as you step toward the window, your steps are awkward and stumbling. And you feel like you couldn't be more than, like, you know, maybe two, two and a half feet tall. Your hands are, like, tiny. What the? What the? You're, you're like a toddler. <laughs> Uh, you see a woman enter the room. Um, she looks beautiful, very regal, uh, wearing like a long, gorgeous dress, kind of similar to yours, but like you know, adult sized. She kind of comes over to the table and she sets down a tray with like some food on it, like a little drink, and she uh, she t takes a, a remote and, and flips on one of the screens. She says, honey, careful by the window. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll turn around and, like, walk towards her, I guess. You're able to kind of awkwardly stumble your way over there. 
you feel a connection to her, even though she's a stranger to you. On the screen, uh, you see people. There's like a man at a desk, and he's he's talking, and he says, uh, "And uh, this just in, they have succeeded. the The mission has been a success," he says, uh, barely able to contain his excitement. The remote fleet has successfully defeated the alien queen. The war is over. It's over. We've won. The centuries-long battle is ended. And uh, you, throughout the ship, you hear distant sounds of celebration. As, as clearly, like other people throughout the ship have received the news at about the same time. The woman sitting next to you looks ecstatic. She's like, "This is wonderful, honey. We can finally go back home now." Right, just kind of looking around, just like, like scanning the room. It's like, what, what's going on? Alien queen? Suddenly, some red lights come on. The the woman says, "Honey, wait here. I I have to check something," and she seems a little bit concerned and and begins to rush out. Hmm. The man at the desks, uh, he someone like rushes into his his room like on the screen and hands him something and he he his excitement turns pretty quickly to uh a look of shock and terror so this is this uh this can't be right um we're we're getting reports now of uh um, it looks like the, the western seaboard has vanished? This can't be correct. Out the window, you see the world start to come apart. Pieces of the planet are separating and pixelizing and disintegrating into code huge red words appear in an arc like over the planet basically in orbit the words say game end you can see continents separating from the planet and like digitizing and, and separating into individual components and code on the screen you see a bunch of people suddenly rush into the room one person running on screen and as she's running and screaming she just bursts into pixels and code the man at the desk his desk starts to come apart he tries to shout and then he just comes apart you hear an announcement over the over the the intercom of the ship uh, all crew to stations all crew to stations uh, taking flight immediately away from the planet's surface. An unknown destructive force is occurring. We are going to get as much distance as we can. And the, the ship starts to take off like fast. And as the ship is flying away from the planet that's coming apart, you see other ships, space stations, anything in low orbit is also getting caught up in this, ripped apart into code and pixels. And, and as the ship is flying away from the planet, you see the, the, the game end words in red are still hanging over it, and the planet is starting to rebuild all the pixels and code that all these people and places have been ripped apart into are swirling into like a vortex of light and color, and it's forming a new world as the ship is speeding away, just trying to get enough distance not to get pulled into this. Is this game over? The woman from before bursts into the room and grabs your arm. Honey, we have to go quickly now. Quickly. Come, come. Come with mother. Uh, okay. 
She, she kind of just picks you up and starts carrying you down the hall. You see people getting into cryopods. Uh, and uh, she, she opens up one of the pods and she starts to push you into it. And she says, Mother loves you. Don't forget. Never forget. And as she starts to shut it, Never forget. Remember. And you feel cold. Your vision starts to blur out. And then it goes black. So you, uh, you wake up on the grass yourself again. You see Rillian and Gron waking up nearby. It looks like they woke up moments before you. Eris is still out cold. Oh. I'll go to sit up and be like, oh, what was that? Like I said, it's a trip. You're right, really, and they were quite peaceful now. I think we passed the trial the first time. Not so bad. Right. At least I didn't try killing us this time. That's good. See? Better round two. How was your first time, Freya? I don't know. It felt like a... like a memory. Mine was more of a vision quest than a memory. Yeah, there was someone talking to me. Who was it? I don't know. Spirits? What was the memory of, Freya? I was in one of those ships, but it was in the sky. I think I had a mother. Well, of course you did. How else would you have been born? I... Yes, obviously, but I knew her. And then game end. Game end? What about game end? It covered the planet. People were dying taken apart. You saw this from the sky? There was some kind of... One of the screens had people. And from the sky I could see the, the planet and it was being broken down. Sounds like a hell of a dream. Mm -hmm. when, when you cause enough air pollution, the world does break down. I could see it. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody uh, a little smarter will know a little bit more about what you saw, Freya. It's a little over my head, I'd say. The woman... She was my mother. She's told me not to forget. Forget what? I think that she loved me. But I did forget. Well, I wouldn't blame yourself too hard on that. I've gone through a lot since then. It's been a long time. Well, you remember now. What's, what's taking Eris so long to wake up? <laughs> Aurelian's going to walk <laughs> over to Eris and be like, What's she going through? I think we should wake her up. She looks her... to be unconscious, but her eyelids are moving. Like oh. she has like rapid eye movement. Should we wake her up. Eh, she'll wake up on her own soon enough. Let's join Eris and find out what's taking so long. <laughs> uh, oh man! <laughs> <laughs> so, I love these kind of episodes, like dinner in a movie. <laughs>
I assume you told us you wanted us to go fight a giant boss monster. Are you waiting for Ares to wake up before you do that? <laughs> I haven't said anything about it yet. Okay. He certainly has not. Okay. Eris, you wake up in the hidden. Uh, she immediately recognizes it because she's been here before. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Huh. Well, here again, I guess. Either that or the jungle has gotten drastically different in the time that I've been walking. Nothing to do but just to keep moving forward. So she'll just start making her way forward unless there's anything around that catches her attention. Yeah, so as you start to move, you do see a figure up ahead um, sitting, on a, sitting on a tree branch. And it is Amber. She's kind of just leaned back with like her back against the the trunk of the tree sees you coming it says uh Eris long time no see and Eris will wave and, and reply back in uh in Sylvan hi Amber good to see you again <sighs> how's everything been going Wonderfully. Very, very good. And with you? It's been going all right. I've been trying to get in touch with uh, with Duskarm just to check in, see how things have been going. But otherwise, ha things are going all right. And how's that been? He's been hard to get a hold of. I haven't been able to get... Uh... And I've gotten some dream messages to him, but haven't heard anything back. Nobody knows where to find him, so it's uh, it's been frustrating. Do you know where he is? I do. Don't suppose there's any way I could speak to him. That would be difficult. Oh, why? You know, this isn't a vision. She leans forward. I guess it kind of is, but this is really me. The primordials like to do these little spiritual vision quests, but dreams are our purview, and I thought I'd just step into this one for a bit. Oh, talk well, to you in person. Well, I, I definitely appreciate that. It is good to, uh, to talk with you and see you again. And she'll kind of smirk and say, like, what game are you playing? What are you up to? <laughs> <sighs> Why don't we let the cat out of the bag? Besides, I feel like you've just about caught on anyway. And it's long past the point of you being able to do anything. I figured the same. I don't think you understand how long this game's been going, though. You see Deskarm step out, out from behind a mushroom, and then his body disintegrates into, like, fairy dust. There was never a Deskarm. Oh. I see. In fact, let's go back a little bit. I think it might be worthwhile to go all the way back. And a few more figures um, kind of step out into view. Which it is taking its sweet time loading. There we go. Alrighty. There we go. These two. Mm hmm. What did I name this satyr guy? I can't even remember. Uh, I think I named him. Uh, no, she said that in character. Oh, sorry. 
Amber just said that. Oh, okay. What, what um, name did I come up for this guy? I can't even remember. Uh, uh, Quinzet? Ah, yeah, that was it. Look at him. What a uh -huh. what a handsome, rugged, roguish character this uh, Quinzen, I guess. She snaps her finger and Quinzen turns into pixie dust. Exactly the role model for a growing young girl to teach her to distrust authority and get that soul of music in her heart. Oh. This has been a long game, Eris. And once you were on the path, we just had to wait for you to ripen. At the right moment, put your party in a position to come and win a game. But let's be real. You were always going to play that card game, and you were always going to be the one to win. And you were always going to make that wish. We needed you to. There are certain things we can only do when it's part of a deal. As you've probably guessed, the end goal was always to get that mead distributed. I think it And was it much. was. Using your image, every guild hall in the guild has that mead now, or did. And what was your goal? Where does it go from here? Well, the meat is harmless. It's made with honey from Queen Maeve's bees right here in the Feywild. That's why it's so good. But you know, high-level heroes in the guild, the ones at the top, they know that you don't eat or drink anything from the hidden while you're here because if you do you can never leave mm. this was always about one particular party one that's been giving us a lot of trouble for a really long time I uh. want to say you've met them renegade Yes, we have. So this was this was all about them. It wasn't about um it wasn't about taking down the whole rest of the guild. Now that they've drank the mead while they're in the hidden, they can never leave. And because the rest of the guild drank it too, anyone who comes to the hidden to rescue them will also become our prisoner. The guild can't touch us now. No one can come here. Very clever. Not until there's a whole new generation of heroes. And now we have Renegade to toy with and torture to our heart's content. They're uh, powerful, but with no support, no resources, stranded in our world forever. Hmm, I see. Very clever. In any case, we don't have any use for you anymore. You're just a piece of a game that's finished. So, I came here to tell you just because I thought it would be fun. Kind of wanted to see the look on your face. <laughs> and Eris is actually actually kind of kind of smirking. And uh, she'll she'll say, "I I figured there was something more nefarious going on. The reason I wanted to meet with Duskarm was uh, to tell him that." I wanted to uh, to break our partnership and uh, probably start a sponsorship with the people making the record machines. But I wasn't going to tell anybody. I was more worried about it disrupting my own fame than anything. If it came to light. Well, let's be honest. It's going to come to light what's happened to Renegade. And no one's going to have any question whose mead that was. I think you'll soon regret everyone knowing your name. I was hoping to make good on it just by distancing myself 
from the product before it came to light. Mm, a little bit too slow. You know, you almost had us in time, but we were able to put up one little roadblock. It delayed you just enough. Do you want to know what that was? Oh, no. Ah, what this was is it? the good part. Hit me. Hit me. Go ahead. She, she snaps her finger and an image of... Uh... Yeah, let me see. Let me get this stuff here. Sorry for all the delays. It's just load time. No problem. On stuff. An image of KL appears. Oh, who could this be? Why, it's uh, it's KL. Uh, who's he talking to? Uh, let's listen in. And you hear KL uh, speaking to Maeve, the Queen of the Fae. And Maeve is making him an offer in exchange for his silence and cooperation. And he's accepting it. Oh, look at that. Another deal. I'm going to have to have a talk with him. How many friends do you think you really have? Especially once it gets out that your fault that the guild lost another diamond party. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that the, everyone's going to buy that. Oh, everybody's going to know your name, but not for the reason you wanted. But hey, if you have a problem with it, why don't you come to the hidden and give me a piece of your mind? Of course, if you've ever drank your own mead, even a single time in your entire life, you'll never be able to leave. I did have to taste test it. I wasn't <laughs> going to endorse a product that I didn't firmly stand behind. Well, why don't you come uh, come see me in the hidden sometime? We'll have a wonderful eternity together. It's not like there's anything left for you in your world. I think I can still turn this around. After all, they <laughs> can't blame me if I don't know the secret. She takes out a long leash with a collar at the end and just like toss it, tosses it onto the ground. Well, once your options are exhausted and you're being hunted as a traitor to your own kind, you have eternity as my, uh, I don't know, like a cute little pet. I'll probably feed you once a day if I don't forget. Come to the hidden and uh, I'll keep you until you bore me. Oh, I guess I should let you wake up now. And Eris is kind of frowning at that and just... Yeah, no, she, the smirk is gone from her face now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You you but, awaken to the sound of Amber's laughter, and the whole party is around you because you were asleep like way longer than everyone else, because Amber was like keeping you there. You could have at least used the evil picture of me and not the really nice picture of me. <laughs> you couldn't use the evil one. Uh. Alright, so Eris, you wake up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you guys, Eris wakes up, but, like, way after everyone else. Like, everybody else woke up at a pretty similar time, but Eris wake, woke up, like, like, an hour later. Like, it's it's very clear something happened. Did you sleep well, princess? <sighs> Don't want to talk about it. Uh -oh. Somebody had a rough time. I don't think hers was as happy as mine. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to talk about it. I will need some time to think on it, though. But uh, there is something I wanted to talk with you guys about. And uh, I know Gran, you're 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 gonna stand by me here. I I I can't imagine anything else. I don't know what you mean. I'm I'm a strong, independent half orc. I make decisions myself. Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you make opinion. I'll listen and value the pros and cons. And uh, Eris might have an opportunity for a new tattoo. I'm listening. Uh. And Freya, I don't know. You like to kill shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, no, make make the world a better place. Well, yeah. 
What kind of? How about a god? <laughs> I know you're usually about those beasts, but uh, how Aeris, about a god? Eris's eyes kind of light up, and uh, like, Wait, ooh, a tattoo of a a tattoo of a god would be awesome. I I I don't think you can kill a god. They're a god. I'm assuming That's where you're wrong. I'm assuming you have a plan to take him down, right? Or her? He's all up here. I gotta find a way in. Into your brain? I don't know. I think really uh, it's not me that's crazy. doing it. Someone else said they're good doing it for me. Is a plan in your brain to bring down a god? I'm I'm lost here. So are we gonna be like fighting your inner god? Well, now you just flatter me and you like <laughs> poses. <laughs> <laughs> But no, the one that's been bothering me like the past year. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I've heard people say that God is in all of us. Does that mean we all have to go into our heads and fight him at one point? Don't ask me how it works. It's just what the dream told me. Well, how do we do it? I don't know. They said they'd, they'd make it happen when it was time. Like here, or do we have to go somewhere? <laughs> well, they said when uh, when I've collected all my allies. I mean, I'm assuming this is all my allies, but maybe yeah, I there's more. I don't think it meant like four months from now when we're all together again. I think it probably means the four of us. Right? Yeah. Did Did you tell the the mist that there's only four, not twelve? <laughs> no, the calculation. Does the mist yet? know? <laughs> the mist should know this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mist? Do you know Mist? Hello? Alright, so the mist begins to swirl around you. Slowly uh, collecting into, into a solid form that looks oh. sort of feminine. Um, you see a tiny spark a little mode of flame that drifts and then bursts into another figure. One rises from the ground and another coalesces from the air. And soon the four of you are joined by four primordial elemental spirits. we recognize one of these gron and i uh yeah like the the water spirit that you uh you encountered once wasn't that a pretty deer um yeah i guess you wouldn't recognize her because she's not she's not doing the deer thing right now oh okay so the face <laughs> was going through deer phase oh she's, uh, she's not oh. it's not doing the deer thing they are in their true oh. forms here cool and the uh, the primordial earth, earth elemental says, "Not only your world, but all of the planes are in disarray now. There is great chaos." And the the water elemental says, "Since last we met, you have helped this world in untold ways. We lend you our strength now." so that you may venture inside of yourself and cleanse yourself of this blight that has hindered your path. Like I said, guys, they take care of it. Wow, you're not kidding. The mist is a lot powerful than I thought it was going to be. The, the wind spirit says, we come to you now briefly from the from the outer elemental planes we visit in this moment to lend you our aid but we do not have much time join hands if you wish to proceed but know that should you perish inside of your mind you will not awaken you will die in your sleep really and what are you getting us into here <laughs> Like I said, we're fighting a god. I don't know what you want. What else do you want me to tell you? And, uh, the primordial fire spirit says, "Not quite a god. You must defeat Gorhelm's shadow, which he has cast over you. It is a curse, 
a sentient living blight on your mind and soul. Well, that's not so bad then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's worth getting a tattoo for. I I worry the same thing. Can a shadow be killed? It can. Gorhelm is the god of battle. Therefore, his curse on you can only be removed in one way. By beating him at his own game. We prove we're stronger than him, and he'll leave us the fuck alone. Yeah? <laughs> hmm. That's Seems... like an alpha wolf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or a big lion. So what do you what do you got to offer, spirits? You uh, you gonna send us in there? We just gonna fight him? You got any you got any tips? Do you ever dealt with one of these things before? Do we get to be one of you? Like, uh, like control you? When you enter your mind, says the water spirit, the shadow of Gorhelm will not become aggressive right away. You will have time to position, to cast spells preemptively, oh, to ready God. your attacks. But once you engage him, the shadow will come at you with full force. And then the, the wind spirit says... I have already lent my power to two members of your party. <laughs> the other the other spirits are like, yeah, I, I guess you guys only like the wind one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me and Earth are tight. We're, yeah, yeah, we're good no, the, friends. The, the, yeah, the Earth Primordial is like, I, I, I appreciate that you've called upon my power, although you have also called upon wind's power as well. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to the two other people who took the air archetype, <laughs> the air elemental is like, well, maybe if your if your archetype was better, <laughs> and the earth elemental is like, ignoring difficult terrain is super good in certain situations. <laughs> like, Absolutely, I agree. <laughs> I think this is a great idea, really, and I know it's been bothering you for a long time, and I I don't you anything. This will also qualify all of the characters present for the Elementalist archetype if they weren't already. So that's like two people, I think. Eris and Freya didn't have yeah. that, so that so now they will. Because mm -hmm. um, it qualifies as an Elemental trial of sorts. Well, thanks, I'll, Gron. I'll help, but only because I choose to, not because I feel like I have to. What about, what about you two? I understand if it's not something you want to do. The risks are real. Well, I mean, it's not not quite worth a, a tattoo of a shadow of a god. I mean, that's just... But, <laughs> I'll still help you with this. Can't well, thank be more you, terrifying than that <laughs> giant dinosaur in the temple. I'll, of... I'll help under one condition. Keep calling me princess. <laughs> You are vain. <laughs> Keep acting like a princess and uh, your wish is my command. Sounds great. We have a deal. <laughs> it's, it's really hot here, though. I'm going to take off my clothes now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So okay. if we uh, if we don't succeed in there, what exactly happens? That death, I think they said. You die. Like a, like real real life death? <laughs> Indeed. No, Jeremy, just our characters. It, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we have two more to play. <laughs> we have Not spare tires. <laughs> yep. God. Got some backups. May I ask, on a scale of one to impossible, how hard is this fight going to be? On a scale of one to 20, how would you rate his <laughs> yeah, level of right. power? <laughs> <laughs> an arbitrary one to 20 scale. <laughs> Yeah, an arbitrary <laughs> one to twenty <laughs> scale. Well, so and and we have done one to twenty. There's like some things that are outside of twenty, like a terrace and a lich. So it's like one. To uh, you can yeah. go up to twenty five. I said one to impossible. We would we would rate him at an eighteen. <laughs> Whoa, that's really strong. <laughs> what? That's uh, really yeah. strong. <laughs> well, hey, there's one of him and four of us. Hey, we did fight a level twenty wizard. We did as a party of twelve. Oh. <laughs> That's right. If you, if you guys can pull this off, it'll be pretty dope. There's definitely like real cool stuff to come out of it, but it's super duper optional. It's up to you to. You should take it pretty seriously, though, if you decide to do this. 
Uh, oh, Rillian's all for it. You've got so, so infinite Freya. prep time to literally do whatever you want. Like it, it, the shadow won't attack until you engage it. It doesn't aggro until you hit it. So, and I've actually can... got a decent area heal finally. Wow. Yeah. Oh. We might even get some XP out of this. Uh, you certainly will. <gasps> Maybe more than seventy, because I need. That <laughs> <laughs> I hope defeating the shadow of a god gives us more than 70 experience, man. <laughs> oh, true. We are rolling over from last session where we encountered a Tarrasque, which is pretty cool. We truly defeated that Tarrasque. I can tell you that everyone will hit... Everybody in the party will hit level 15 if you do this. Whoa. Wow. Shit. Really? That's a lot of XP. Yeah, yeah Eris is only hey, a 200 XP there. into 14. Yeah. Wow, how That's a lot of experience. Cool yeah. Look at this Jeez. fucking thing. Let's stop talking about it. Let's get in here. Come on. You get. You guys need to take this serious. This is an optional boss, which to me is just not my fault. If you fucking oh, eat no. shit, like he's level eighteen. He's gonna. Have like I mean, 40. it's Jeremy's. It's really hard. It's Jeremy's quest. Up to him. I will. I will tell you. I will tell you up front that the Shadow of Gorhelm is, as you would expect, from like the Shadow of the God of Murder. A very straightforward stat block. Okay. This is not a this is not a tricky gimmicky stat block. He's got a bunch of AC and he's gonna hit you really fucking hard. And that's everything he does. So oh, gotta throw numbers at him. Plus it, it, forty it, to hit, plus forty AC. He's not so all about dipping You and may diving. you may be able to get creative and and mm. make some stuff happen because he does not have a lot going on there's not a lot of nuance like he's just gonna fucking hit you really hard yeah it's like we're fighting what's his face what's that guy that went a wall big sword guy mortal enemy to the party kane kane thank you it's like fighting kane all right you guys join hands oh boy whoa and you enter the battlefield whoa. hit this whoa. fucker oh my oh god my this god. is the shadow of your helm what Oh, all right, can we go back? It, go oh, out! Hit the red button, miss! Everybody go! Now, it is worth noting that this battlefield in your mind, it slowly fades into pitch darkness beyond the edges, which is not just a uh, lack of light, but a literal void. Yeah, so Freya. these are borders that you will fall <laughs> off of. Freya. <laughs> Freya, really, if you, really uh, you can only remember so much at a time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you if you step beyond the borders of this battlefield, you'll just fall into nothing. Uh -oh. Can't artillery him from a hundred <laughs> meters away. <laughs> you, you don't want to fall in there. I don't know what's down there. Why well, get to the edge of it? It's a lot of cat videos down there. It's just cat videos. Falling to the point of really dancing mind. cat. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh, I love these cats. They're really cute. <laughs> All right, so you guys, uh, we are going to take a break here, but also you have you have literally infinite prep time. It will not aggro till you damage it, so you can cast spells. Even ones that only last like ten rounds, like we'll we'll set up an initiative and you can start putting those up. You can position yourselves wherever the fuck you want. Note this is a battlefield with things. There are like ballistas Ooh. that could provide cover. There's big flaming like braziers, there's like a tent. Like there is actually stuff around. There's like a catapult up there. Look, this is it's um, funny that you said ballistas that can provide cover. Oh, they can do more than that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely fire the ballistas if you want. Um, and uh, you can also, like, ready actions. You probably want to. Like, before you trigger initiative, you probably all want to ready except for the person who actually fires the first shot like three people ready and then one person hits him and then all the ready to actions go off and then initiative happens so thanks we're getting way too much like head start and prep on this mm. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Matt's scared matt's like stop Sam's giving us, giving us let's make Sam's these of all the prep we can shit. like <laughs> Fucking prep time. And I like how it's really, resources. it's really awesome. funny that it's scary when I give you guys stuff because you know it means you need it. So. <laughs> uh, I just want to say this guy, he's trying his best. He tried his best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he tried his best. Yeah. 
Oh, the really? horses! The horses <laughs> didn't make the it! The horses! Oh. Oh. Uh, they couldn't quite do it. That's like when you're playing, playing like, Dark Souls and you see the ghost of, like, where someone died, like, in front With of the boss. Blood stain. <laughs> yeah, like a bloodstain. Like, Can we go oh. touch the bloodstain and see, like, a preview of how they died? <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to see a little preview? I'll give you a little, like, I'll give you a little bit of a, a preview. Nice. Uh, seems about right. No, only plus 35 with the 82 <laughs> All right, there's your preview of how that guy died. Lovely. My my AC is 35. <laughs> Freya uh, contemplates the void. Uh, my AC <laughs> I, 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 is only 40. This guy has to roll like a two to miss me. <laughs> <coughs> That's before applying my buffs and debuffs. Your buffs don't apply to me. <laughs> <laughs> debuffs to him would, though. Yeah, debuffs to him would, for sure. You chose the wrong party to bring with you on this one, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, right. we needed, like, Victor and Tap and, and Una. Victor and, and Una. Una. <laughs> Victor and Una, yeah. I just, like, Hey spirits, can we come back more prepared? Can we trade? <laughs> uh, I, I want some different spells actually. I took a lot of chain lightning. Lots of AoE damage spells. I did, a lot of fireballs. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a good reflex save. Oh my god, Joe. Yeah. He seems like more of a fort guy to me, you know what I'm saying? I agree, I agree. Big giant dude. Not the quickest. Look, I can, cl I can clumsy him. Too. I can clumsy him. You can clumsy there you go. Maybe your synesthesia will actually land for him. Yeah, well, I mean, oh, I'll, yeah, there you go. I'll go feeble mind and synesthesia. Ooh, the quickened turn. Yeah. I will uh, shoot with arrow repeatedly. Ah, switching it up a little. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry. I did not mean to click that. That was my glimpse All of redemption right. auto generate. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, Rillian is prepped. He's good to go. Well, we're, we're taking a break, aren't we? Are, are we taking a break and then prepping? Or nope. prepping there goes Freya. Okay. Let's, let's break and then prep. Really quick, I want to get you stats on these siege weapons, by the way. Okay. There I'm... are two catapults. There are, like, a bunch of repeating ballistas all over the place. I'm thinking um... we, like, take the time needed to roll the ballistas and catapults all, like, into a line... Where one character oh, can just run down the line, you hitting can't all the move triggers. them. Ah, oh, dang! Can we at least, can they we rotate won't. them at least to face him? You can rotate them. Yes, okay. you can aim the ball at him. Yeah. Really, sure. thinks really hard. He's like, I imagine these all in a better line. I imagine <laughs> all kinds of super strong weapons and armor. <laughs> Plus three armor runes. Think really hard about those. <laughs> The funny thing is that even if I had a plus three armor rune equipped right now, it would just go from needing every number would hit to being a one would would fail only because it was a crit fail, <laughs> not because the number didn't hit. Oh, yeah, it's got a plus thirty five. Freya has thirty five AC. I'm not going anywhere near this guy. <laughs> All right, really, it's a good thing it's your demon. I think the three of us are going to be really far back trying to help you out. <laughs> I can't well, be too far back because I've got ranges on my buffs. I got a stone skin for you. I got a haste for you if you want. I guess we're doing a little Are, we, little are, bit are we doing the prep now or when we get back from the break? I guess actually when we get back. When we get back from the break, I just kind of wanted to show everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I do. I do have a regenerate for you, so that might help keep you alive for a pretty long time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it now then. Alright, BRB. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll think about Here's here, really quick. Here are Buffer Here are the siege weapons. Ah, okay. Ooh. The repeating okay, a repeating ballista looks like that. It's the ones that have a bunch of fucking ammo. Oh, They've got okay. sixteen ammo, so they don't need to be reloaded, but they only do three D twelve. The heavy ballista there's one here, and there's one like over here behind him. This it takes an action to reload this fucker, but it does five d twelve. The catapults take two actions to reload, but they're eight d twelve. 
I'm assuming these all have multiple attack penalties. Oh, s fucking sh for sure. They're just weapons. <laughs> what attribute yeah. do we use to shoot them? Dex. Oh. They're all they're all dex. They're just ranged weapons. I think Literally. it might be like Freya setting like getting all the ballista set up and just going from one to the other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, that that could be a pro strat. Yeah, Aurelian's Dex is only 16, so he's not going to be super useful on them. They're just literally ranged weapons, like, straight up. Just don't so. stumble over the edge, Freya. Yeah. Now, one, you should take note, one. however, this is really important. These siege weapons, they do a lot of damage, but they don't have any kind of an item bonus to hit. Yeah. They're not magic weapons. So they're, like, a shit ton of damage, but you will not have a plus two to hit from your, like, item bonus. I would say Freya's, like, normal bow is probably better than the Ballista's, at the very least. It's like 3d10, I think. Not better than the Catapult, the though. Hit. The Catapult's 8d12, but it's, yeah, it might be worth, like, it, you guys, you, you there's tactics involved here. You might be like, maybe we just fire all the Catapults once and don't bother reloading them, or maybe not. I don't know. You, like, you gotta think about it. Like, is Pray it worth for a crit on each of them pray for a crit yeah like um you might not use any of the siege weapons but the point is that they're there so i just wanted you to you know mm -hmm. have that have that option i mean the opening round could just be fire all the siege weapons see what hits yeah <laughs> possibly like get someone on each one and just do yeah. it yeah, yeah. Just, just do it uh we'll get back and do like a strategy meet for sure mm -hmm. uh let's take a little break sounds good all right brb
Don't don't hate me, Mark. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> Eris Eris actually had contingent has contingency plans. Okay. If it makes you feel any better. It was a really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> This is why Iris was doing was doing research. I actually dedicated downtime to doing research on this and setting some uh, some plans in motion. Okay. After that interaction, though, I'm like, okay, time for me to pull the trigger on one of those plans. <laughs> I mean, yeah, do it. I'm just glad I don't have that secret anymore. <laughs> That was like the second time I saw that cutscene, too. <laughs> I saw that cutscene already, somewhat of it. Good night, purple yayos. Chatbot again. Because my. <clears throat> I put in some things to try to prevent these follow bots from posting in my, uh, in my chat, but it has not succeeded yet because they're using weird letters in there. Uh, oh. Yeah, these weird, weird characters in all of their messages, so I can't say, like, if this appears in a message. However, one thing that's always consistent is the URL, so. Oh, wow. Oh, I see that. Okay. It's a Russian website, too, so... I clicked on it. There's some great deals. Don't... don't oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah, I was like, no, there's no way you did that. Um, so... CLCK.R. Want me to enter my PayPal? Please, answer, answer a few questions, then you'll get millions of followers. First, uh, what, what is favorite color? Uh, red. Mm, red. Okay. What is favorite uh, animal? A bear. Definitely bear. Hmm. What is social security number? Mm -mm. <laughs> you got me. I'm sold. Okay, I'm going to restart the bot. And hopefully, the one that I put in there actually works this time. Because the URL does not use strange characters. So I've set it to where if anybody posts anything that has clck.ru in the uh, in the message, it'll ban them immediately. What if they get a, What if they get a new website? Um, I don't think that's actually the website. I think that I is. Think I think that's a URL shortener. Okay. Because afterwards they say it's bigfollows.com. I see. Okay. Yeah, clck.ru. I'm guessing is a is a uh, link shortener because it always has a different code after the slash too. Anyway, now that I've gotten that taken care of, how do I figure out my hit is with a dex weapon? I don't have any dex weapons. Can I add a dex weapon to my sheet? And you can figure out what your uh, with your dexterity modifier plus your proficiency bonus with whatever type of weapon it is. 
I have no idea what that is. Your proficiency oh. bonus is your level plus either two, four, or six. I'm guessing it'll either be two or six. Okay. If, that's if you're proficient at all. I wonder if he'll give us proficiency with artil with um yeah siege weapons. <laughs> Who's gonna tank this boy? Really is. Uh, hold. You think siege weapons are simple? I doubt it. Sorry, I was literally about to answer your question, and then some shit happened. So, um, Marshall. I would Marshall. consider a siege weapon to be Marshall. Okay. Okay. I would not consider it to be a simple weapon. Person, I feel like that's a reasonable ruling to make. Yeah. That it's not simple <laughs> to operate a siege weapon. Here's something. Now, I am, uh... Although a crossbow is simple. I feel like it's harder to shoot only a bullet sword or a catapult. Is I it? Okay, so I'm, I'm an expert in unarmed attacks, and at level 13, I got weapon specialization, which means I deal additional two damage with weapons and unarmed attacks, in which you're an expert. Three if you're a master, four if you're legendary. Does that apply to like my bear form unarmed attacks then? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It should automatically um, apply them when you ha if you have that feat. I mean, I make macros for all the bear attacks. Oh, okay. So the ballist, the the siege weapons are martial. I made that ruling. So your druid and bard, probably are not going to be super good at that. It's okay, our spells will be much more useful than those. <laughs> yeah. But Rillian and Freya could both operate them pretty well. Again, like, without an item bonus. But it would be... It would still be, like, fine. Wouldn't be incredible. Rillian's going to be at a pretty big disadvantage as Dex isn't the greatest. Yeah, so maybe it's just Freya who does the siege weapons. So if I'm not proficient, then it would just be level plus uh, dex mod? Yeah. Okay. Because you're not proficient. So it would be horrendous. You'd never hit. Plus 18. No, if you're not proficient, you don't even add your level. My bad. Oh, okay. It's literally just your dex mod. Like, it's it's you'll never hit. It's okay. just horrendous. I see. What if I roll a 20? You still miss, probably. No, because a crit would be a mess. and you. But it would it. still be a critical failure, probably. Oh, yeah. Would it go from Dan, critical are you failure? messing with my page? What I did is I added a siege item. Okay. Just so that you'll have an attack for it. And I'm making sure that it's correct. I gotta make sure to add more damage to bear attack. Uh, I need to make sure it uses deck. Eh. Uh... Okay, it's ready. What's the problem? Why are you making noise to me? I'm trying to read my feats to see if they apply to all ranged attacks see if I can apply them to things. Uh, and you keep moving my page, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm out of your page. All I did was give you a siege weapon so that you can have a hit it and do... We'll have to do the damage manually, but... Like... Like, I think this one would work. <coughs> hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah. Like, like you're trying to sure with it with a ballista. Take that. I mean, it sure would. Um. Cool. Uh, flurry Basically. also works. Uh, I don't think hunted shot works because it says you're wielding a ranged weapon with reload zero. Uh, it works with the ballista. Okay. Doesn't work with the catapult or. What do you mean by hunted shot? Well, you mean the, the flurry? It's called, it's called oh. hunted shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. only works with the ballista because it's got a bunch of ammo. Yeah. Would not work with the catapult or the heavy ballista, which only have one ammo and then you have to load them. So that, yeah. So you can't do that except with the one that does. So the question is, is the ballista better than your bow? Your bow is 3d10. The ballista is 3d12. The bow has plus two to hit over the ballista. The bow is plus two to hit is almost certainly better than one die size in my opinion plus two to hit is like a big deal that's like 10 percent more likely to hit the catapult might be worth it as like a one-off just because it's so much damage you may or may not want to bother reloading them you might just fire a catapult and then move i don't know I'm gonna mark this guy as prey because you're probably gonna do that before stuff happens. Prey, kind of like a mile away. <laughs> like on the catapult. First thing I did. So, as far as protection, I've uh, I've got this. Which will absorb, absorb at least one hit from this guy. Spells can still pass through it, so... There. Interesting. Yeah, I was thinking of this less as a way of containing enemies, um, more of like a way of protecting our spellcasters from, uh, from weapons. I'm like confining his box a little bit so that it's closer to him. Okay. Yeah, there we go. You could put more than one spellcaster in the cage. Yeah, I know. I can. It can be me and Gron both in there. Um, my area heals range is only 30 feet, and I was also thinking about using uh, Dirge of Doom against this guy, so you can actually get some benefit out of my composition cantrips. That's up to that's, you. That's nice. <clears throat> I mean, I still get full benefit from the... I mean, Dirge of Doom means I have to be within 30 feet of the enemy, too. Because that's a shorter yeah. range spell. The Courage one, I still get benefit from, too. So yeah, the, you, how, like how Dirge of Doom be? decreases his AC and decreases his attack, so it's like getting the attack bonus from Inspire Courage and the defense bonus from uh, Inspire Defense at the same time. Force mm -hmm. Cage looks really good yeah, to me. Like, it's worded like, as like an offensive spell, but it's really good defensive. Too. Yeah, that's a really good defensive spell. Yeah, it, he can't crit it, and it's got hardness twenty. That could take a that could take a couple hits like if you're lucky that could take oh that damage he rolled hits. was a crit that was crit damage that he rolled oh mm -hmm. yeah. it could take two or three hits for him to break that cage if you're lucky like three if you're lucky two if definitely two rolled. definitely two hits with hardness 20 yeah no that's really strong i wonder how many seventh you have two seventh three. level spells i'm level 14 now it's three uh yeah 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 because you could put one around Freya, too. However, Freya is probably going to be no, she'd really have, far away. She'd have to shoot out of it. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah it'll bar, give cover. Bars provide cover, yeah. Yeah. But his Unless sword, she's doing hunted shot. His sword can definitely not stick through the, the cage. Though. No, no, correct. <laughs> hunted shot ignores cover, though. Hmm. So if Freya is doing nothing but hunted shot, she can hunted shot through the bars without penalty. Oh, if she's that far away, though, is she even in any danger of being attacked by him? I mean, that's the question. 
Like, yeah. that's the question to ask yourselves. Is it even worth it? It'll be a seventh level spell slot, and I have to sustain. I have to sustain. Oh, you have to oh, sustain. Oh, that's a... Okay, so no. Probably not <laughs> putting it on Freya then. But probably worth it on you and Gron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's up to you if you want to sustain for that. Why can't it only fit two? Can it fit any more than two? I mean, it could fit everybody. Yeah, it's a 20 foot by 20 foot. Cube. I mean, Rillian can't attack out of it. Yeah. Mm. It's melee. Yeah, like it what? Is. You're not gonna put the melee in a cage. It's melee like... to protect spellcasters. Um. So, I'm gonna do this, and the only reason I'm doing this is in order to track durations, because you guys are welcome to cast things that ha that will that have like a ten round duration. Let's roll initiative real quick, just to, you know, get it out of the fucking way. And then, uh... Um... How nice is that? I go before the shadow. I know, oh, we're pretty nice. Not Eris. Not Eris, no, but it's <laughs> okay. okay, I can get my setup done. So we're we're again. This turn order is only the track durations. The fight starts when you decide that it does. So let's get ten minute stuff out of the way first, like because those don't even care about the round. Like anything you're casting that doesn't care about the number of rounds at all. So there's stone skin. Who's getting that? Me and Rillian. Okay, so we've got two people getting stone skin. Rillian's in Earth stance. Anybody else got anything that doesn't care what round it is? Does anybody want resist energy? <laughs> I don't think he cares. So okay. His his arm is on fire a little bit. He got a little candle arm. I don't know if that matters. It's more like lighting, yeah. to be honest. Okay, like light like reflect, open no, his no. arm and fire shoots out. He's not going to do energy damage. He's just going to hit you with his fucking sword. <laughs> okay. So anything ten or more is what we're looking at? Right now, we're looking at things that don't care about the round. In other words, things that are more than a minute. Because if it's a minute, um, then I care. So I guess I'll just ask the two spellcasters. So, like, Eris, do you have anything that's more no. than a minute? Resist Energy is my only 10 minute spell. Gron, do you have anything that's more than a minute? Other than what I've cast, no. Okay. So, here's what you guys need to figure out. You need to figure out what you're casting that has a one minute duration, and you probably want to time it. So what I mean by timing it is, here's an example, right? Freya probably wants gravity weapon, but Freya doesn't want a gravity weapon right now and then sit there for three rounds while the rest of you are casting shit. Freya wants the gravity weapon like the round that shit is going to happen. So that's why, like, you guys need to kind of figure out how many rounds of buffing are there so that people can time it so that you're getting them. Because you don't want a gravity weapon and then just be sitting around for three rounds while mm -hmm. Gron casts spells. Like, you, uh, same with, like, Force Cage. You don't want to cast Force Cage now, lose three rounds of it waiting. So I'm going to I'm gonna just write down, like, Freya is casting gravity weapon, probably on like the last oh, round yeah. before shit goes off. Uh, I was actually thinking my first my first round is going to be um gravity weapon and then fire this cannibal. Oh, the catapult. Yeah, the okay. Catapult right here. So that way I can I'm going to take two actions to do the hunted shot and that'll be my first turn. So you'll is gravity weapon one action? Mhm. Mm gravity weapon's one action. So gravity weapon, hunted shot, catapult. You could that could be how you trigger combat then, basically. Yeah. So it's really you... it's really good because it 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 can be like a plus like eight because it's like eight d twelve or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. So basically, what you so so F Gwen's saying she'd like Freya to start the fight. Does anyone object to Freya being the one that starts it? Would Dirge of, hunted, would hunted Dirge of shot, Doom catapult? would Dirge of Doom trigger this guy? Uh, I would say no. Okay. It's pretty passive. 
I would trigger him if you like cast synesthesia on him or something. Yeah, of course. But like just having your dirge of doom going passively, I would say I would not punish you for that. Okay. Ooh, do we want to start the fight with synesthesia instead? Because that would potentially give him clumsy three. Yeah. It would make it easier I, for Bray to hit with the catapult. I, I'm not saying I want to go first. I'm just saying that's going to be my first turn. Get, yeah, actually, yeah. that that said, Freya does go first anyway. Yeah, so... So Freya could just ready to action to shoot him. Because you can ready in a... You can't ready hunted shot. You can only ready, like, a single yeah, action. I, I could ready, like, my bow. and just You could ready like, flurry. Flurry, you yeah. Could I could ready, ready a, like, flurry. Ready a flurry. And then it would be up to you whether to gravity weapon and then ready the flurry. Probably. Probably gravity weapon, ready the flurry, mm -hmm. and then on your turn, hunted shot catapult move? Yeah, and then move, so I'm like, okay. gone. I like that. Okay. I think I, I think I can get back to my to my little corner in one move. Is oh, anybody almost. hasting? Hmm? Is anybody mm -hmm. hasting? I'm hasting you. Okay, so I'm noting that the round that you guys trigger this guy, that round Freya is going to gravity weapon and then ready a flurry. Um, I'm basically gonna go. I'm gonna work my way backwards from this. Let's also so see. like, Sorry. the trigger the triggering round. Are you guys pretty decided? Synesthesia is how you want to trigger him. I mean, that's up to Mark. I have no objection. I was going to start with, um, like, probably Feeble Mind and then Synesthesia to follow. What? How many actions is Feeble Mind? That's a two action. They're both two action, so it would be on two different turns. Uh, if you'd like, I can probably hit him with Synesthesia. If he, if he just regular succeeds, it'll still affect him for a round, and it's not my highest level spell slot anyway. It might be worthwhile because so many ready to actions are going to go off mm -hmm. that, like, it makes a lot of sense. Or I could open with True Target. You could also open with True Target. That is also really strong, yeah. I like the idea of Eris starting it because Eris is last in the turn, or turn order. So, like, this turn you're all readying shit, and then at the very end of the turn order, Eris will trigger him, and then, like, okay. everyone's stuff will go off. And then the fight will start proper at the top of the or turn order. So it's it, it works out really well. So, Eris, you're probably going to be sustaining a force cage at this point in time. So your action is going to be like sustain true target or... True target's only a one action, fortunately. So I'll be able to do sustain, dirge of doom, and true target as my triggering turn. Okay, so I'm going to put Eris down as sustain, dirge of doom, true target. I'm figuring out what the triggering round is and then we'll work our way backwards okay. so obviously okay. Eris will have put up the cage at some point before this so what oh, are no. what would Rillian and Gron do on the triggering round probably just ready an attack the flurry of blows okay so Rillian I'm gonna put down as ready is flurry of blows one action mm -hmm. okay. it's a flourish I don't know if that makes a difference uh, no, I'm pretty sure you can still ready a flourish. You just It has to be a one-action thing. So F Freya, gravity weapon, ready hunter shot. Um, and then Rillian is just ready flurry of blows. And then Gron, what would your triggering turn be? That's what the thing. I don't have any good one-action actions. That's why I wanted to like, fire, a, fire a weapon or something. So Neither cool. of the spellcasters do. To be honest, so you could just cast something that turn instead of readying something that doesn't trigger him. You could just do one of your buffs or something. Okay, like your turn. haste turn or something. I like you yeah, could, one, you could one just buff. Do, that could just be your haste turn, okay. like haste shield or something. Yeah, right? the things that I want to prep are while well, we go down the line here. I'd like to throw in that. I want to try to sneak in that. Uh, really quick first, though. Let me just post this. So, does this, this look? Does this look like a complete, like, initiating round to you guys? 
gravity Not weapon a... ready hunter shot really it is ready flurry of blows defensive maneuver drawn's haste shield Eris sustains the cage dirge of dooms and then true targets him which starts the fight Every and then Rillian and Freya's ready to actions go off after the true target, and then we start from the top of the round. So, Mark, yes, how sure are you that you want to start with the cage in the combat? Um, just hoping it's three this... actions, so it saves them a yeah, lot. Yeah, it's better than casting action. it mid fight. That's true. Um, okay. And, it, and it's going to waste like a full turn of his to take it down if he goes for it. I was just going to say if you did the, the longer duration Dirge of Dune the turn before, you Look. could true target and synesthesia the same turn if you didn't have the cage up. Hmm. That's fair. I was also thinking if I don't do Dirge of Doom, I can do a quickened cast of synesthesia. So I can sustain the cage, synesthesia, and true target. Well, actually, I can true target and synesthesia. Because synesthesia would be what triggers it. True target won't actually trigger it. Yeah, so how about... And then you could do the you could do a, a linger Dirge of Doom the turn before. Yeah. Thing is that my, my uh, area heal takes uh, focus points. So I was hoping to uh. save those. Because it's, it's a... I can target everybody with it. And it heals 7d8 health for everyone that's pretty substantial for a oh phoenix. you got the the soothing ballad didn't you yeah wow. i love this focus spell it's so good not up to mute? me and up to nine targets it's a maestro i love this fucking spell why don't you like name a person like delilah from the capital is my muse soothing ballad is great it was quinzet the uh the satyr that doesn't exist <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the, the cat bait the catfish bait say yeah. yeah it made me very powerful though but yeah yeah seven, I mean, that's, that's up to you i mean seven it was just a for all of us that's a lot yeah that's yeah so good. if you don't have the cage then you could just dirge a doom true target quick and of a seizure and you could just cage later um up to you Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a focus point. There's, there's only one thing I need to change. I have a uh, buff spell that I'm putting on Rillian. Rillian, sorry. Rillian, that is a touch spell. So I've got to, like, touch him. Oh, okay. But so like, the so maybe, don't have a, maybe you don't want the cage there anyway? I don't know. Like... If he wants to do the cage, like, maybe the turn before the prep. So, like, cage, touch. Yeah, the cage touch will be cage. after we've done any touch spells. Touch cage, haste, go. Wait, haste is a touch spell? No. Oh. The okay. other one, regenerate is. Oh, regenerate, gotcha. Okay. Oh, Zan's giving me a look. Why are you giving me a look? Well, I just want to, I want to wrap this up. So start to figure out what the fuck you're doing. Quick, 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 figure it out. So, um, what, what are you casting? Total. And we'll arrange it properly. All right, regenerate on Rillian. Anything else from Gron? Gron, what is the total of your all your spells you're gonna cast before okay. this fight starts? Okay, yes, two turns before combat is fire shield because I don't really care if it ends at like seven or eight. That's fine. So two turns before the combat starts, fire shield. One turn before the initiation, regenerate. Turn of initiation, haste. Got it. Okay. So that's Gron. And then I need to know what Eris's stuff is because Eris is the only other mm -hmm. character who's going to have any manner of prep. We also need our uh, positioning because I need to be within 30 feet of him in order for Dirge of Doom to affect him. Yeah. I need, I need to be within and I'd, I'd like striking to be, range. I'd like to be within uh, range of Freya as well, like at least reach target for um, reach spell. So like if I was right <sighs> here, that would put me within range of, of Freya if she needed something. Yeah, where do we measure from to see if we can hit him? Like, does the sword it, count or like? It's his here. body. It's his body. Okay, so this puts me within. Air. This puts me within range of, of him. Eris, have you decided if you're gonna do like Dirge, True Target, Quick and Synesthesia, or you're gonna have the cage already up, or what the fuck? I'll probably do a lingering Dirge, with uh with one focus point. Okay, lingering Dirge and um. 
let's and see. you'll have let's the do, cage let's do, up then. Let's do Force Cage, one turn. Then next turn is going to be uh, Lingering Dirge and uh, Haste on myself. And then the turn uh, after will... Ron, are you doing the, like, everybody haste? Oh, wait, no. Back. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Hang on, Good I can't deal. do the haste on myself because of action. I'm sustaining the cage. Okay, so... Yeah, first turn is force cage. Um, that'll be after Gronk gets it. Gronk gets his uh, yep, his touch spell off. Fire. Then uh, yep. lingering dirge of doom, uh, and then after that it'll be sustain. Uh, true target, quick and synesthesia just trigger. Uh, is this correct? The Gron gr can stick his hand through yeah. the bars and touch Rillian, and then Rillian can move away. Okay. Does that look correct to everyone? Uh... Oh boy, it's gonna hurt. Looks good to me. Yep. Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. So um... Fire Cage will end at turn seven then? Because it's all minute Here's my performance check for the Dirge of Doom. Um, sorry, reduce that by two. So that's 36. That still succeeds because party level DC is 32. So three turns of Dirge of Doom. Takes it down on the triggering turn. So we have two turns of Dirge of Doom left. Okay, so um, everybody get your your buffs up. Um, so like, let's get regenerate on Rillian and then oh. haste on Rillian. Uh, we're gonna You've put got the force. Haste, yeah. How big is the force cage? Twenty by twenty. Twenty by twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to go ahead and draw that for me? Sure. In your color. Um. See, where do I draw? I don't know. What is the howling at the moon symbol that Eric says? That's Dirge of Doom. Got it. Where? How do I draw? Where's that? Well, go to your where you do area of effects. I haven't ever used that. No. You've oh. never used an area what? of effects. It's no. uh, measurement controls under your on the Got left yeah, under right basic controls. Okay. Pick the square and then draw out. After I draw, can I move it around? Yep. Once you draw it, so twenty by twenty. You're gonna want to put it, yeah, on like a, yep. You're gonna want to put right it on there. like a thing. All right. And how do I delete it? Like that. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Just want to do it in my color. So. Mm-hmm. Is that the regenerate icon? It just looks black to me. Oh, I'm. Uh, I think you might have messed it up. Hello. No, I mean the regenerate icon is probably messed up. So get yeah, rid of it before you fix it. Get rid of get it off your character icon before you fuck with it. Cuz once you change the code, you can't get rid of the one you put on it anymore. Oh. Like you have to get rid of it and then fix the code. What's the name of the regenerate spell? Isn't it just regenerate? Yeah. I spelled it right. Make sure I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Regenerate, <laughs> not regeneration. Yeah, regenerate. Yeah, I, I got a black box of death too. Hmm. All right, give me a sec. It's uh, they spell that just regen. Ah, oh, interesting. Yep, R E G E N. They oh. they shortened it for that spell, for some fucking reason. I saw the black box. Let me. <sighs> Are you having any better luck with regen, Matt? I'm giving it a try. Just type regen. No black box. Oh, there's... You guys have, like, the long form of it right now? Okay. I just copied one I knew worked. Give me a sec.
I think that's a pretty fun spell for my staff, but it's not relevant at our, le at our level. But it was cute. Fifth level Moon Frenzy. Turns into a little mini werewolf. Ow! 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 It's like you get a 2d6 claw attack and weakness to silver. Uh, where did they. Did they move all this fucking shit? Oh, here it is. Okay, here we go. Spell. Open spells! Oh my fuck! Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it's, goes our it's second just, square. It's just being laggy as shit, dude. There's a lot of spells. Oh, fun okay. story. I can also move Rillian into the cage if need be. Excuse me? I can, <laughs> or or us out of it if if like if we need what? to. How do you do that? Collective transposition. All right, I figured it out. I found it, and they spelled it regeneration. Oh. oh. All right, let's try this one. Hey, yeah, how about that? Go. That looks better. Oh, it's beautiful. We'll put gravity weapon on Freya. Um, we'll put fire shield on whoever the fuck has that. Oh, that's me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to get it all, get yep. it all here. The only haste is on Rillian at the moment, I believe. Is that really correct? The world. Can oh, I get a gravity I... weapon on uh, Freya? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Um, and there's the fire shield on Gron. And then I'm looking, I'm looking. Fire shield, force cage, gravity weapon, haste, and see. Okay, okay. I think we're good. I think it looks correct to me. Okay. Um, these are the rounds where shit will run out. Give me a sec here. Is synesthesia like if he fails, it's just forever or what? Oh, uh, here's ten, synesthesia. Uh, if he if he fails, it's a minute. If he crit fails, it's, it's stun two and then a minute. Okay. So based on when you guys are casting your stuff, here are the rounds where things will run out. Okay. That's if synesthesia succeeds. That's if it succeeds. Sounds good. Cool. Is everybody ready? Yep. Uh, regenerate would be nine then. And here's true target. Oh, then regenerates nine. And then there's true target. And so he is true targeted. Okay. Um, all right, we're about to start. So if you're drawing. Uh, no, sorry. I actually had to deal with something. But oh, it's really? Now. Yeah, perfect timing. What happened? Oh, it's something silly but it's oh okay okay everyone's okay it's not like a family thing or whatever no no it's not a family thing we're good okay sweet all right all righty so we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna go through the first round of combat here so freya gravity weapons and ready's hunter shot um really in ready's flurry of blows does his defensive maneuver Ron hastes and shields Era sustains the cage, true targets, and then synesthesias, and, th and this is where things actually happen. So, synesthesia. We'll save. Yeah, the minus one. Oh, oh, nice. Because of the minus one, he didn't crit succeed. Good. Wow. Hell yeah. Jeez, <laughs> that was close. And he, he is therefore synesthesiaed for exactly one round. Um. All right, let me see here. I gotta get his clumsy in here. Nice. Um. Now triggered actions go off, so we'll start with Freya. Go ahead and do a flurry with your bow. Remember, you have fortune. Oh, I did not remember. Okay, here's the other one. Nice. Ooh. And then I'll actually. Shift click for the other one. There we go. You're doing this with your bow, not the catapult. Yep, bow. Bow. Nice. Yeah. Has to. It has to be the bow. You All can't. Right. You can't flurry a catapult. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we established it, that previously. Not, not with that attitude. <laughs> did I get? Uh, did I hit? 
both of them hit. The 44 and the 40 both hit him. Jeez, the 44 is not even a crit with synesthesia. It's not, oh. no. Wow. Or his reduced AC. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude's AC is nuts. I guess let's do what we can while he's got three less AC. Alright, Rillian, your uh, flurry of blows goes off as well. Hiya, hiya. Oh, look at the, look at the hot Oh, Rillian. nice. Oh! Okay, okay. The, 45 and 36. You have the fortune. 36 misses. Wait, you have 14 on both of them. I didn't do the fortune. Oh, no, on, on the first one, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you said the 36 misses? Uh, Yeah, the 36 misses. With the That's synesthesia the and with... Uh, actually, Dirge of Doom doesn't stack with synesthesia, so... Yeah, 36 misses. Yeah. Okay, then 45 wouldn't be a crit? No, it, it's not. Then that's just twenty nine assortment of damage. All um, right, he does fort save, which I'm sure he'll definitely fail. He does have a minus one. <laughs> Forty one. Yeah, okay, uh, those were the readied actions. So we are now entering combat proper. Um, here we go. All right, Freya. Let's do this thing. Let's indeed. Okay. So. Yep, we're gonna do a uh, uh, hunter's aim with this thing. I'm guessing the, the catapult. The what third. <laughs> Siege. Siege, yeah. So I get a plus two. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Come on. Fire the catapult. Do you still have fortune on it? Oh, I did not. I did not. Oh, well, no. A true target's only the first attack. attack. Okay. Yeah. Freya's already attacked him. What are you doing? All right. I didn't know so if it was the first 40... attack of each turn or what. Okay. Certainly not. Okay. So all right, all right. <laughs> the, 40, the 41 hits, there, but we have to roll the damage manually. What's your, uh, or no, you wouldn't add anything to this. It would just be, you would add your gravity weapon stuff, though. I and, would, your, yeah. and your other thing. So the damage from the catapult is. Ooh, nice. 56. Uh, well, and then, uh, five gravity weapon. Or eight. How many? Eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, so then I'll just do eight, and then it's 2D whatever for your fucking. Yeah. I'll do uh, hunt prey. prey. Yeah, hunt prey without gravity weapon. So it's just the two d eight. So fifty six, eight, and twelve. Ooh. So you uh, you just slam the fucking giant catapult rock into his into his gut. We're taking this bar down pretty handily. Alrighty. <laughs> he's, while then... he's clumsy three. Yeah. He <laughs> turn around oh, no. real quick. Oh, no. I have no idea how many of these attacks would have missed. I guess I move to here. Okay. Uh, I think I move, that was 35, so I could actually move a little bit more. Oh, you're, further away from her, nice. Yeah, you're out of Aeris' <laughs> spell range unless I spend an action to reach it to you if I need. Hey, if I, you, if you need an emergency anyway. heal, I can get it to you. Just... Yeah. You know what? Actually, I would have go. I'll go here. Yeah. If she needs the, emergency, the, 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 the cage will still be on. between you and him. Eh, odds are he'll he'll hit Rillian, and if he if he hits me once, I'll teleport away, so we'll be fine. So one action catapult, one a or no, you did two action like, catapult. Two action catapult, one action move, and that is okay. my turn. Nice. All right, Rillian. All right, Rillian's gonna throw oh, off no. with the. A little, little, little quake. Uh, he stomps his foot into the ground, and the ground shakes. He, uh, he's gonna need to make me a. Where is that mountain quake? He needs to make me a fortitude save. As the ground shakes beneath his little oh. feet, he's oh, okay. He's fine. He takes no damage, but it was worth a shot. Let me let me roll my d4 to see how long it takes me to do that again. Uh, three rounds, so on round four, I'll be able to do that again. Uh, that was one action. I will then flurry of blows with another. 
once, twice. Oh! oh. Nice. All right, for uh, 50 damage, and nice. he needs to make wow. me another fort save. Probably doesn't even matter if he fails or not, but uh, so that was a success. He's fine. Um, so that was two actions. My third action will be to uh, to block, and my hasted action will be to punch this dude with a third attack. Oh, nice! Wow, oh thirty-seven. Nice. So normal hit. Wait, that oh. that it, it thirty-seven misses. So that's a normal. What? Wait, but even minus three oh AC. Oh my gosh! He's got more than forty natural AC. <laughs> Hey, but that was still oh a hasted. Oh that my awesome. god! Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll I'll keep hitting him with synesthesia, guys. I'll keep but that like up million, as long as I can. But a million brutal damage. Or whatever it is, oh right? yeah, so add six more forceful damage to that. Too. Ah, nice. Oh my god! I can't believe that wouldn't have even normally hit. Shoot. All right, well that's my turn. That was a hell of a turn. Two twenties. Yeah, dude. Damn, dude. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so you uh, you are concealed to him, like everybody is, because of the synesthesia. Uh, right off the bat, <clears throat> everyone who can see him, he readies his weapon and gives you a, uh, let's see here, battle glare. Uh, so it's fear. Uh, it's just will save, party wide will save. If you can see him, you have to make it. So this is visual. Not... It's visual. Oh, I'm, con I'm considering. Avatar I'm considering make, using a uh, counter perform, but then again, that would nah, that would end my dirge of doom. So yeah, probably yeah, not. We rolled pretty well. Yeah. We all rolled pretty well anyway. All right, all right. All right. So it's a will save. <laughs> yep. Okay. His DC should be reduced by one. Oh, okay. Because of the fear. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's good to know. So spooky. Okay, so. Gron crit succeeds and is therefore not scared. Uh, Rillian fails. What? <laughs> and oh, is frightened God. too. Oh um, my God. God. However, uh, Freya and Eris also normal fail and okay. are frightened too. So okay. no one's frightened oh. for. I thought you were going to say we I crit failed. Sure. <laughs> I thought but, for sure a 40 was going to pass. The, the, deck, like, the, DC, like, the, DC, the, the DC is 45. <laughs> so. Wow. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's nothing that's like a, what I faced with the was that 45 before or after the not his own frightened effect. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess it's 44 now. Okay. My bad. Anyway, same same outcome. I'll so, do my best to keep his numbers low, guys. <laughs> right. So now he is going to try to attack Rillian. Oh God. Uh, I have to too lower. So I have to roll for the mischance. He gets to make an attack. So he is going to do that. Roll like a two, please. Really in dodge. Oh, he rolled a five. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that hits. All right. At least it didn't crit. And your stone skin. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Matt, what does regenerate do anyway? Uh, you get 15 HP at the start of your turn. Nice. Pretty damn good, actually. Yeah. Holy wow. And you wow. can't die from damage. And you can use an action to reattach limbs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, seeing if he misses, Ooh. he does. Ooh, nice. Um, and then... We're gonna see if he misses again. Oh, it gets to make this attack at a minus 10. Oh, he hits. Okay. Okay. Not even so scary, big tall oh. guy. Alrighty. And when he hits someone, if mm. when he hits the same target 
uh, two or more times during his turn, he can use Relentless to automatically deal damage as though he had hit them with his sword at the end of his turn. So then you just take this uh, because he hit you twice. Long as he hits you twice, he just gets to do that. Ow. Yikes. So Frightened is not changing my own spell DC, so I don't know if it actually does. Uh, Frightened only lowers things you roll with d20s. So it does not. So it doesn't roll. It does, but, but it also reduces AC. What? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So hold I on. don't know if it I'm... reduces spell DC or not. Uh, all checks and DCs, including spell DC. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, that was his big old turn. So. All right. I don't know if you know, didn't notice this, but there's a low haze hanging over the battlefield. Actually, it's a storm cloud. <laughs> Is there a ceiling to my mind palace? <laughs> are, we, are we outdoors? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Alright, so we'll do... Oh, I, like, I like the preemptive boop there you're doing. We'll do like that, I guess. Alright, that, he... That's including his penalty. Oh, man. Okay, well, he passes, so we'll take half damage. Decent roll. That's my turn. Alright, he is no longer synesthesized. Oh, synesthized. Give it time. <laughs> um, no longer synesthesized. I'm gonna hit him with another one. Okay. Yep. Yep, boy. Until um, he fails. Just mm -hmm. keep him coming. Yeah, and I'm gonna sustain my uh, my force cage with my last action. Oh, Ooh, succeeded. close. Succeed, but um, he still he remains synesthesia for uh, for the round. And yeah, okay. sustain, sustaining the force cage. Dirt of Doom down to one turn left. All right, Freya. Hunted shot. Don't forget to lower your guys' is frightened with the end of your turn. Yes. Oh, come on. That was a 20 for a sec. Uh, so that will miss, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And then I will flurry. Hope for a 20. Yeah, basically. This dude's AC is like nope. 19 or, or 45. Why did I say 19? Because uh, <laughs> he's like 19, guys. Oh, those were the days. I saw, the right. I saw the 19 on the die the second I said that number. Uh, oh, yeah, heal this. Okay. Okay, well, let's throw out some spooked punches. Okay, uh, he's spooked too. Yep. Okay, spook punch number one. Uh, miss. Spook punch oh, number two. How's a 39 boy, with boy. synesthesia? 39. Will miss. What? The what? Well, we found Is his this AC. The Dirge of Doom stack? No, no. Dirge of Doom doesn't stack with. Uh, it's with... Over 42? Yeah, they're both status penalties. Oh my god, this guy's AC is insane! You guys have hit with 40s, so his normal AC is 43. So currently 40. Currently oh 40. God. Oh, if I weren't ah! spooked one or spooked two, I would have hit him. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. You're less spooked at the end of your turn. The spook. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm, I will take my defensive action once again, but then I'm going to battle medicine myself. So let's roll. I'm going to go for DC 30 on my medicine save or medicine check. Oh, wait, I'm spooked. Do I want to do this right now? I'll wait until I'm not spooked to do this. I will heal his glove myself, though. Actually, oh. that's more versatile. I mean, this is a, if you want to heal, that's a good time to do it because you don't need to do a check for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll heal his glove. It's 2d6 plus 7. All right, pickle, pickle 10. And then my hasted action, I'll just YOLO punch. I don't know that I can possibly hit him, though. All right. Great news, everybody. 
Battle Glare wasn't a one-off. Oh. So he's going to start his turn with Battle Glare again. We'll save from everybody not to Man, be scared. Man, don't do this. I crit it. Why? Why? Oh, that's crit fail. Why? That's crit fail. Why? Ooh, that's crit fail. Gosh. Why? I'm, I'm, now, I'm now tempted to use my... And Gron fails. Yeah, do you want to try I, and do I your thing? I failed with a 43? It's DC's 45. Counterperform with End Dirge of Doom, but... Really, I think it's worth it. Yeah. A lot of people could fail. Yeah, I'll counterperform. I failed! Oh! oh. You, you are incredible. <laughs> so everyone passes, therefore everyone becomes Frightened 1. If you were already Frightened 1, it just doesn't change. So... Oh. That's yeah, so nice. it doesn't it doesn't stack. Hell so yeah. it's basically That's just huge. Gron becomes frightened one is the result. What if I have the auto pass or the the crit succeed the success? Oh well, then you don't. Oh, you're good. So does Eris. Okay, so I also have the crit succeed on successes, but I'm already frightened one. Doesn't do anything then. Okay. Yep, doesn't do a thing. It just, you just don't. It doesn't matter. Um. All right. So he is going to step Whoa. forward. Oh I'm going to make an attack of op. Oh, he oh. stepped? Uh, no, he's he's moving forward. My lighting strike. <laughs> Wait, can he move into the force cage? <laughs> well, he's like standing on. over it. Okay. Uh, that's uh. a big old miss. All right. So uh, when, let's see, Earthshaker. So the... Him stepping forward shakes the ground around him. So, uh, Rillian, you have to make an acrobatics check or fall prone. Hmm, I'm sure a, a net or a 30 on this with which I call it would be good enough. I will not do that. I will roll for this. And you're you don't fall prone. You're wait, no, you do fall prone. <laughs> That's I meant to. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you're prone. Uh, let me see. Does it care about the force cage? Does um, the force cage have a floor? I think it does because it's a cube. So ceiling and, and floor. Force objects are immobile in space. So right. I'll rule that you guys are standing on the floor of the force cage and can't get knocked prone by him walking around. Um. All right. So let's see. He is able to move and attack as one action. So he'll attack. <clears throat> attack the, the force cage dazzled here uh oh dazzled uh it's not a creature oh Synesthesia... doesn't it say creatures and objects are obscured let's see here all creatures and objects okay fair yeah so I'll just roll some d20s here how um, would that be <laughs> oh my god I'll channel my energy towards you. Channeling mad energy. Okay, well, I've done one. Oh, you almost failed one. So I get to hit it oh. as much as I want. So yep. let's see how this one. goes. So first hit ends up being 26. Okay. Then it's 14 left. I don't think it's going to survive another one. Blech. No. No. Nope. All right. Yeah, force cage right. is gone. It took like a billion damage. It took damage a bajillion all. damage. Yeah. yeah. It sure did. Uh, then his final attack, which I did roll the concealment for already, is going to be on Eris. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh, -oh. uh that hits does not crit. <laughs> wow. So oh, he's just gonna hit you for 35. That's okay. all. Okay. Okay, that's cute. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see here. He hit the force cage twice, which triggered his ability, but it didn't matter because it was gone. So he's done. All right, Garan. He looks like a man that would have attack of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you think? The shadow of war. Uh, yep. Come here. Uh, hit, not a crit. Wait, hold on. I didn't. I'm. Oh, I'm not frightened. Oh, 
That's a big damage <laughs> roll. It's Jesus! Jumping Jehovah's face. And let me mark a church. All right, the the storm is going to disappear as quickly as it came, <laughs> <laughs> and out comes Ray of Sun to to shower over the battlefield and bring some hope to this dreary dream. Sunburst. Ooh. Maybe he's <laughs> undead. I don't know, but sunburst. <laughs> he's a shadow. Yeah. He's a little bit, of a bit of a shadow boy. We'll uh. see if he does anything. Mm -hmm. Not oh, oh, and he hits. So. Oh, oh, it, it doesn't like matter. Horn. No, oh, my boy. Uh, you, <laughs> although you should have thought. Oh, hold on, I don't delete it. You should have thought twice about hitting someone with a fire shield. Oh yeah. Oh, the big two d six fire damage wow, coming wow, in. Man. When the man with forty seven AC, I'll take the the eight damage. I need guaranteed too. damage. Is nice. Well, I, so he didn't care about my seven level spell. Okay, that was cool. No um, longer synesthesia. I'm tempted to put up another force cage, but I'm also tempted to hit him with another synesthesia. You might want to be tempted Careful. to move fuck away first. He <laughs> might have. He looks like a man that has two attack <laughs> uh, that If if I move, I can't force cage again because it's a three action spell. You can't force cage if you're dead. That, think about that. <laughs> or if a crit interrupts it, you lose a spell mm -hmm. slot, and you're dead. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! It's a fucking move! Yeah, it's like a third level fighter has attack of opportunity. Imagine what an 18th level fighter has. Like, my god. 14 attacks of opportunity. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Get the fuck out of there, Harris! <laughs> what are you thinking about? But I can just you that I can quicken just, another spell. Like, oh, good. More attacks of opportunity for all this. Great. Okay. All right. Harris will move. Don't bring him towards me. Go in another direction. <laughs> <laughs> what other direction? Harris wants to be next to as many people. I as have you to be can. near people. Uh, yeah. Send her towards Freya. I go there. Then uh, whoa. Oh well. Oh, there's the attack. That's a. Uh, Hit is he? He's not frightened, uh, and that doesn't use his uh, his. He, he crit you. He crit me. Yeah. See, oh. that would interrupted your spell. Whatever it was, would yeah. interrupted your spell. Yeah, that that crits me. Oh god, how much health do you have left? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, okay. says before he's updated the health bar. Um. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Red life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you moved? Yeah, moved. Um, God. Took a hit. Mm hmm. Uh, jeez. You're I'm outside already... the red square. Yeah. You're already quickened for today. I, I mean, I could still do Soothing Ballad. <laughs> you could. Uh, what's the range on that? 60 feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Good. I gotcha. Covered. Just don't know if it's worth it to use because uh, it's my last focus point. Or do I want to wait until everybody's to lower? You could wait till more people are low. I, I think I'll just heal myself with a soothe. It's worth noting the soothing ballad also counteracts fear. It's a, you have to choose one effect. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I think I'll just use a, a personal soothe. Oh, um, really? Not a synesthesia or a soothing ballad, just a solo soothe. Oh, God. If we hit, yeah, synesthesia, we might be able to actually take him down. Yeah, you, you gotta think real hard about impactful turns here, mm -hmm. because this guy is definitely, like, he's low health, but he's still here. And he's gonna keep doing shit. The longer the fight goes on, the worse it is for you guys, because he has consistent output that is, like, very threatening. Would you guys prefer a true target or synesthesia? I don't have a, I don't have any things that make attack rolls. Yeah, you could either you I mean you could have a soothing ballad for like the big heal, or you could like true target dirge, or you could synesthesia. Those are all like dece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this fight isn't um, making ooh. it like round seven. True target yeah. dirge could be nice. This is a, this is definitely like a quick. This is a quick and DPS nasty race. fight. Yeah. Like big, you need big impactful turns. 
Okay, I'm going to hit him with a uh, true target Dirge of Doom. Okay, cool. Alright, noted. And your fear goes away. Yep. Everyone's feared... I think Freya and Rillian are feared one each now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Till the end of their turn, yeah. And he is right, frightened Freya. one now. Yep, he is, absolutely. So that his AC is 42 now. Whoa. Uh, but you have fortune on your first attack. Make so it that, count. So that's a hunted shot with fortune, which is pretty big. That's pretty scary. We're gonna mark it. There we go. Nice! Oh, Ooh, double 18. 18s. Oh. oh my god. It was All just... Right. Yahtzee! You got him. <laughs> Yahtzee! <laughs> oh, good roll. Good I'd roll. like to think of Freya like saying that as she shoots, just like, Twing! Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he's getting low. Jumanji! <laughs> you don't have fortune on any more attacks. It's only the first. Mm -hmm. first yeah. Time. And now we're just gonna flurry and hope for something oh, good. Oh, that was almost a 19. <laughs> It's I actually think would have even hit though. It's actually called what is the, it's not flurry. I always call it flurry, no, but it's it, not. It, it is a flurry. So it's okay. my flurry attack. It's not the it's flurry. It's, it's a flurry, hunter's not something. It's yeah. Hunter's shot. It's Definitely yeah. Hunter's aim. It's, but it works like flurry of blows with arrows. Yeah. It's but basically, it's yeah. basically the same ability. Yeah. All right, Rillian's gonna kip up. Oh, also he heals fifteen. Oh, thank you. I typed it right. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Kips up. Let's remove that prone. Prone? Hello? Go away, please. Prone? Wait. Thank you. Uh, He's going to kip up. He's going to do a little key strike. Yeah! Yeah! This is only verbal, so fuck off. Then he <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, we should do it verbal. You yell key on. That's how it works. You didn't have anything wrong. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, and then I have fortune on my first attack, so let me shift click that. Punch him right in the flurry, kidney. Flurry of blows. Right in the kidney, get him. Yeah, get him. Flying come uppercut. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come, mm. come on. Um, so that's a mi How does hero. How do you. Can you hero point a fortune roll? Uh, yeah, you'd roll one more time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Test your luck. You wouldn't roll two more die. You would roll one more die. We're gonna roll one more die. In other yeah. words, a hero point is worth a d20 always. It's never worth two d20. It's always worth one more d20. Do it, roll really. another die. For the power of your master. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wait. Are, wait. Are you actually still frightened, or did you forget to remove that yeah, at the end of your turn? I am. I am still frightened. Oh, okay. You miss good. by one. Dang. Ow. Well, at least the hero point wasn't worse. Yeah, yeah. True. True. it's not better though. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't better. Uh, oh, this, this guy right oh. here is uh, like, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. It's like the Black Knight. It's just I believe in you. you. <laughs> Come back, girl. I'll bite off your ankle. Uh, okay. Well, that was just my first attack. I still have like three more, so we'll see if we roll penalties. a twenty. Uh, so no, yes. let's let's see if we roll a nat twenty here. Oh, no. Nope. That's not uh, 15. So that's mm -hmm. one action down. He's so low. Mm -hmm. We're gonna... Okay, so that's two action... Well, one quickened action and one action down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> YOLO! Yo, 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 oh! yo! Oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> so it's a normal hit. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, Dang. There it is! <laughs> oh, oh, good damage. Oh, too. good damage, too. And the yeah. force. Oh, oh. Plus force, well, come on! I mean, oh. the force pull's not gonna do it. Oh, so oh, you freaking. He's so little! He's, he's gonna come hit me with the sword and fall over. <laughs> I, I have one action <laughs> left. Oh, Another get him! 20. Another 20. Get him. What are the chances? A 5% chance I roll another d20? No, like, we tank up. This is what it's heroes either, are yeah, made I of. I feel like I either block or die. I got to block. <laughs> yeah, All block right. it. Oh, god. Alright, I'll block. Ugh. And then my fear goes away. If he moves to pursue us, you've got that attack of up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, your fight's with me, big guy! <laughs> yeah, listen well, to him. <laughs> right, 
it away, everyone has to make a will save from right. the battle glare. Uh, throw you in your battle glare. Eris, Eris, save us all. I might, yeah, I, I probably will. His terrifying presence. Oh, he's a little cookie, actually. <laughs> Eris, he's so scary. Hey, he's actually really scary. He's really scary. All right. Yeah, this, really is scary. Last, this is my last. This my last focus point. So I won't have the big AOE heal, but Eris, save. You're good. oh, Eris, <laughs> you're so good. Oh. <laughs> All right, everyone succeeds. That means if you don't have the the will thing, you're frightened one. But if you have the will thing, where like that's... success becomes crit success, then you're not. I think that's just Freya. It's just Freya, like everyone else has the will yeah. thing. <laughs> this is the will party. <laughs> I'm gonna quit failing, okay? I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, All right, so we really like four damage in here, so, guys. So really in, <laughs> really in, when you look up and you shout at him like that. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Here uh -oh. we go. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh no. Uh oh, really? Old, old, brilliant. Your old. fight's with me. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a ah! miss. That's a miss. Oh, 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 he can't touch you! I'm imagining that Put sword. Him down, Grun. I imagine the sword coming down and then really just grabbing in his hands. Like, BAM! Like, level seven, <laughs> die, you son of a bitch! More, more like Shadow of the Colossus where you're just ragdolling out of the way. <laughs> 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 really oh man! Like unlimited power! Flying. Oh my god! Put okay. him down, Grun! Put him down! Oh, you like a two. Come on! Oh, he oh. takes half! Nice! Okay, oh. that should do it then. Oh, oh yeah, that'll do it. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh look at that. nice. Right. Ah. So he, uh, he drops to one hit point, what? and oh, no. his, uh, <laughs> his, <laughs> his war machine feature allows him to remain at one hit point unless he takes, let's see, electrical damage. Case you die. <laughs> <laughs> Very important distinguishing. Oh no, it's just once per once per turn. If he would drop below one hit point, he can stay at one hit point. All right, hit him again. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. It's convenient that hit happened right after his turn, though. We got this. All right, uh, is there any point in moving? I'll raise my shield. I could take him out with a daze. <laughs> Dude, do it. I mean, any kind of damage at this point. Yeah, maybe. We'll make sure, make, sure, make we'll sure you move. hit him with the fear still, though. Keep in mind that it's pointless unless you can hit him twice. Uh, oh, per turn? Oh, dang. It's per turn, buddy. Yeah. Oh, not yep. per his turn. Oh, no, no, per turn. Somebody's got to hit, hit, him, hit him, him twice. twice. All right. Give me a synesthesia. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hit him twice. Don't worry. Set him up with three three synesthesia. Yep. He can survive the first hit every time, yeah. How do I do two sources of damage in one go, then? Do you have like quicken no. spell or anything? No, I don't. All we can do is set up for them then. Do you? Oh, you you could sustain a spell and nope. cast a spell. You don't have any sustain. Spells you don't have the, now? the flaming I, soccer ball. I, I use I use my sustain. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Well, I don't know then, Matt. You're out of fucking luck. That's what I got. It's up to Freya and I to hit All right. twice in one turn. So. I sort of Damage wanna... basically doesn't matter now. It's just you have to get over the war machine feature at this point. It doesn't even matter I, what so damage you do. I am tempted to do Inspire Courage and Synesthesia. Because if the Synesthesia works, then we can double stack on it by giving us positives and him negatives. Yeah. But right, I uh... won't have the Dirge of Doom to, to affect his will save, but it's only, a, it's only a, a one. So if he fails by one, then it's a problem. But all right. It's up to you. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll start off with... The, what? I will say that I am going to not be targeting just his AC. I'm going to be targeting his, will, his fortitude saves as well. Okay. Mm. Oh, I won't be able to do anything to reduce his fort saves. I can reduce his will saves or his reflex. That's it, though. Reflex and AC. Um, okay, so yeah, I hitting... think Jeremy meant dirge, but gotcha. it's all yeah. good. 
I think so. I think synesthesia is our best bet to take down this AC. So hitting him okay. with my last synesthesia. Okay, here you go. Oh, nice. Succeeded. Okay, okay. he but is synesthesia. Synesthesia for one turn. Uh, and then I'm going to inspire courage. So All right, okay. Plus one to damage rolls and attack rolls. Please don't leave this to me, Freya. I can't bear the stress. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so, end your turn, um, Eris, please. Yep. There we go. Okay, so Freya, yeah, at this point, damage doesn't matter, really. It's just you guys have to double tap him. Yeah. So, I'm just going to go... Oh. I don't want a flurry, because that counts as one point of damage. What do you mean? Ooh. It counts as one damage collective. Yeah. Uh, it sure does. So you almost want to yeah. just triple attack, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's still two hits, isn't it? It's just for the purposes of damage resistance, it counts as one. That's fair. I would, I would, I would agree to that. Yeah. It does say it's only for the purpose of damage resistance. So okay. you can attack four times if you wanted to. You can either attack once with plus two and then two more times, or you can attack four times total, two of which are at a minus ten. And you do he have a plus one. He is clumsy three, and you have a plus one from here. Was, or Inspire Courage. Inspire Courage. Uh, I'm going to flurry. Okay. I'm going to start off with the flurry. Get that Let's start with one. the flurry. So here's the first one. Oh, oh my god. Okay, matter. off to a good start. You just need to make a second attack roll. Thing. We would have preferred the 20 later on, one. actually. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. It's okay. You got three more attacks. Just, or two more attacks. Two more. Just roll net 20. Uh, I'm going to use a hero point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use one. it early. Yeah, yeah, fair. Okay. Just to, like, use a bigger bonus mm -hmm. to hit. Come on, uh, baby. It was almost a 17, which would have done yeah. it. Yeah. <sighs> All right. And then I guess I will flurry again. Well, it's a flourish, so you can't. Oh, I can't, yes, But you can right. attack two uh, more times with minus 10. Yeah, which I will do. Or you can do the no. plus two shot, but I don't think it'll help you with minus 10. No, it's probably not worth it. Uh-oh. I think you it need a 20 either way. Whoa! Rolling. Dang it! I saw a 20 on the die roll! Oh! Dang it! <laughs> so on, close. Come on, come on. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Dabu! Alright, really. Finish him! This is horrible. Why are you, why are you guys doing this? Just gotta hit him more than once. That's it. It's all up to you. Really, and he's the shadow of Gorhelm. This is your fight. You gotta you put him down. You. Oh, you gotta you. do it. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that 15. Oh, yum. Okay. Well, uh, Xan? One action? Give me a fort save. Oh! Does that do any damage right. to him? You take you take two damage. Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> and it's not an attack! Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Wow. And Oh my god. Oh. Uh don't hit me! You, now stomp, two... you stomp the ground, forcing him to stumble, which, le which creates an opening in his oh. impenetrable defense. Is he if prone? If you hit him this round, the fight ends. Is he prone? Uh, no, no, he's not prone. He didn't oh. fail. Oh. Uh, give me a half a second here. Uh... Alright, really? You know what we... Before you roll, though... What? You can think and plan, but before you roll, you got to give us an inspiring speech. That's how you get these big dice rolls. That's how you get the big die rolls. Yeah, you're, really you're absolutely right. Staring down the giant man in the face. What do you say? To, what do you tell Death? <sighs> got to do it for the RP. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So Rillian smashes his foot into the ground, shaking it just enough to put this man off balance, and he says. Tell Gorham when you see him. I haven't had enough of his shit. And then can... he, what? How can you miss after that? I mean, I don't know. Let's let's see. Uh, because we're not even gonna do an attack roll. He leaves his stance and, <laughs> and with both of his arms throws rocks at this guy. 
<laughs> he like what he like picks up ground from the the battlefield around him and just chucks rocks at him. Two d four bludgeoned. <laughs> hey, no, it's heightened. It's heightened to seventh okay. level, so it's like oh, fourteen d wow. four. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of rocks. Still, if, this guy was, if he was taken down by by two d four, though, I mean that would be hilarious. This is your primordial earth spellcasting, right? Correct. Yeah, so you, it's got the earth you, trait. You, you, you dig your feet into the soil. You call upon the earth. Stones rise out of the ground around you. And uh, that's not a success, so get the fuck out of here. You mean not a crit <laughs> not a, not a crit success. <laughs> you, you drive a bunch of stones through his body. Nice. And as the stones explode through his armor, leaving gaping holes, you see that he's hollow. The armor is empty. There's nothing inside but darkness. And the, the armor begins to crumple and collapse. With pauldrons and gauntlets falling to the ground with heavy thuds until nothing remains but a pile of giant inert armor that then slowly melts into shadows and dissipates from your mind. And he looks at the, the mark on his arm and he says, you were nothing all along. You awaken and the handprint on your arm is gone. And really, in a sits up, looks at a, a Freya, Ron, and Eris, and he just says, "Thank you. That means a lot to me." I think we're even now. I thought I think we were even before. I, I I owe you, all of you. The primordial elementals around you kind of bow their heads and. The Earth Elemental says, we, we bestow upon all of you the same gift you were given in the Weald. If you so choose, you may walk the path of the Elementalist. But for you, Rillian, you have earned our respect and gratitude. Continue to fight for this world. And the other three elementals, fire, air, and water, place their hands on uh, on Rillian. And you feel power surge through you. Don't accept it. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. And uh, yeah, Rillian just kind of closes his eyes and lets that, that feeling flow through him tries to connect it to the ground beneath him and so you already world. have the primary earth boon but now oh. you have these oh, oh nice the four yeah. primordial boons okay it's like the, the same one both the traits okay these uh do not come with the stance like packaged so at the moment you only benefit from earth and air but you have these boons, so if you ever decide to get the Stumbling Stance or the Reign of Ember Stance, that like these are ready to go. If That's you awesome. Just, if you want to be the Avatar, <laughs> <laughs> master the four elements, you have to learn all the stances. Nice. And he says, "Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use." When the time comes that your party is prepared to venture into their final trial, before you descend into the bowels of the abyss, come to us in the elemental plains. We shall lend you our aid. You hear that, guys? Looks like we got more adventuring to do. <laughs> Did we do? And then they dissipate. Thank you, spirits. So you have an invitation before you guys go to the abyss. Go pop by the elemental planes. <laughs> they'll, they'll hook you guys up before you go into literal hell. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Lovely place. Mm -hmm. 
the abyss. It's like hell. Since it's actually hell. Like, that's just... It is. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> oh. Well, guys. Thanks again. How far do you think we are from that wall? Hopefully not too far. That's what there's the wall to go to. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Let's hope we have some friends there, too. Let's hope some of our friends meet us there. I'm sure they will. Well, I don't think we're going to have to deal with these visions anymore, at least. Hopefully it's a peaceful walk on the rest, the rest of the way. I hope so. I really do like their visions. <laughs> Your party is unaccosted as they pass through the ancient jungle and exit on the other side, where, stretching before them, a long-forgotten, abandoned battlefield... And at the other end, on the horizon, a great wall, and beyond it, ruins, which echo with the sounds of the dead. We are going to leave off there. Go get a break, and when you come back, we're going to be with uh, some other people for just a wow. little bit tonight oh. before we before we leave off for tonight. Oh, really? oh. I did not expect that. That was gonna be another another short night. I was wrong. No, we're gonna we're gonna pick up with some other people for a little bit here. Um oh, so, Zan, Zan, if you could message me who that is so I can adjust the stream overlay. Okay. If, if that's okay. Unless you want it to be a secret from me as well. I don't really care. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, turning it to pause screen. That was dope. Mm -hmm. That was yes. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, oh, Gwen! High five! Oh, yeah. <laughs> high five, Gwen! Oh, no! <laughs> God, no. <laughs> you want to you go take our All break right. together? We'll meet All right, I'll see away. you guys in a few months. The Phallus will be a session. <laughs> if, if I don't, if I don't yeah. come back, don't wait for me. <laughs> Matt, we already knew this was happening. As soon no. as Gwen wanted to go to the ocean, it's not like they <laughs> <laughs> had to destroy the pillar to force us to go to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye bye, pillar. And you can't teleport away either. Ha <laughs> ha, got him. He, he didn't say he didn't say who all it would be. It might just be my characters and Gwen's characters. It I might have gone so. that way. I hope so. <laughs> Jeremy and I can go hang out in the tundra for a bit on vacation. That sounds good. <laughs> right. I need to look up air spells because I can do that now. All right, tool in the power of chain lightning. <laughs> right. I don't think that's air. I think that's lightning. Oh, is that like a thing? Like chain lightning. Does that have air? Yeah, it's electricity, right? Man. Oh, air bubble. So if Rillian ends up in the ocean, he can breathe air some water. Air bubble. <laughs> air traits. Is it air trace? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Uh, Cataclysm's air... in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think it's probably got all the... Yeah, all Cataclysm the... has, like, every element. Air bubble, air walk, Cataclysm, gust of wind, punishing wind, storm of vengeance, unseasonable squall, wall of wind, wind walk. What's unseasonable squall? Oh, it's an extinction curse. Level three. <laughs> Not that excited. And Zan, I'm guessing I can only do one of these once a day. I can't do like I do the earth one and then I do the air one and then I do the water one and then I do the fire one all in one day. Like that am I am I correct about that? No. Oh. So I could do any number of these once each, a day? Each one once per day. Oh, yep. Shit. Okay. Uh, which would which might be motivation to pick up the other stances and become Aang. 
Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty cool. You, Pretty cool. You could just pop through the stances. That's really cool. Yeah. It's uh pretty good. It's gonna get even better at like sixteenth level, I think. I get to take a stance as a free action. Take a stance, do a thing. Take a stance. Do your thing. It's pretty fucking good. I mean the the only downside would be that like these are innate spells. So they're using like they're using like your wisdom. You're probably only trained in the DC. So they're, it's not like yeah, you're not like blowing away the spellcasters or no, anything. No. Like your DC is pretty butt. It's more fun. It's <laughs> I think fun it's more. like expert at the best. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. it's cool, but it's definitely like you're not going to show up the actual spellcasters with it. Yeah, because you just don't have the numbers for it to be like that I'll crazy. Are we going back to those characters for like XP and stuff, or did we want to do that first? I mean, I'm going to handle that at the end of the sesh. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, Mark, I sent you the list. Appreciate it. Uh, Jeremy, just be sure, what level are your characters? Uh, I think they're all 13 except for Brillian. Yeah. I think? Let me double check. Yeah. Ray is 13 and Regal is 13. Okay. Thank you.
All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's mouse cam. <laughs> squeak, squeak, motherfucker! I gotta see if I can fit these new stances into my build now. <laughs> Aerith still has dreaming potential, so if you want some downtime while you sleep. Yeah, it might be useful. Are they like low level ones? Like second level pick your stance kind of thing? Um, I'm seeing. Hello. Hello. Stumbling stances. <laughs> Stumbling stance is so good. That's Why is like, it named that? What does that do with that's the like the drunken master stance. Oh, yep. okay. Yep. What level is the fire one? Is that first level two? Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, so let's get in. Let's get in here. Y'all ready to go? Ready. You ready for this? Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Alrighty. Una, you uh, you wake up on the beach, and immediately you feel like your body is full of water. Like you swallowed and breathed in like a shit ton of seawater. <coughs> Just coughing and hacking, just like <laughs> looking around. <clears throat> you throw up a bunch of water, and, and you're able to clear your airways and start to breathe. <laughs> Your, your eyes, your eyes burn. Your body feels all like tacky, like you were in the ocean water, and then you washed up on the beach. So you're all covered in sand. Start like looking around the beach, seeing if she sees anyone. All right. Well, looking around, you spot what looks like a halberd sticking out of the sand nearby. Uh, uh, we'll get up and kind of go over to it. Is it Tath's halberd, or does it look different? It's definitely Tath's halberd. You also see a boot sticking out of the sand. <laughs> I pull on the boot. Is it attached to a foot? Yep. Oh. You kind of you kind of drag Tath out of the sandbank. Um. 
She's a total mess, unconscious, might be dead. Uh, uh, I'll try healing her. I'll do a third level. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let me make a few... Let me make a few blind rolls here. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of expected. All right. I'm not dead, am so, I? <laughs> uh, no. So, at, so Tath is alive, and after you heal her, she, you, Tath, you wake up, and, and your lungs and stomach are just filled with seawater. Uh, yeah, she immediately vomits all that up. <laughs> yeah, like real bad. Yeah. Oh, I was a little afraid we'd lost you there for a second. And Tad will be like, like fumbling for her, uh, for a weapon. Like, where is she? <sighs> where is everyone? Uh, I don't know. Let's keep. I'm gonna keep looking around. You catch your breath. You haven't seen Tilda around, have you? Mm-mm. You're the first one I saw. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is gonna wreck my hair. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> so we'll keep looking around. Okay, yeah. You, uh, you kind of just continue your search, looking around to see if you can see anybody, and, uh, eventually you do spot... Uh, what looks like a little goblin washed up on the shore. It appears to be Regal. Motionless. Probably kind of, kind of, either. kind of pale, actually. Huh. Well, she'll try to heal him too. Probably already dead. Might as well just leave. Right. Him. So, when you attempt to heal Regal, oh. it doesn't do anything uh -huh. and upon closer inspection it appears that regal has drowned and is dead rest in peace little buddy <laughs> you deserve better <laughs> so uh fortunately as a cleric you are able to prepare raise dead you're relatively certain that regal hasn't been dead long certainly not three days probably not even a day um, so you will be you able. To, <laughs> you will be able to raise him from the dead when you reprep your spells. Well, what will uh, like kind of drag his body like probably more inshore and try mm -hmm. to get it somewhere where it can rest. Yeah. And after okay. Tap's so caught her breath, she'll uh, she'll join her. Okay, so you've got Regal's like Regal's cor water bloated pale corpse <laughs> that, like washed Ugh. up. A crab crawls out of his mouth. <laughs> well, I, th I think we have enough. We have enough gold to uh, to get him back up. If you have the spell, I can yeah. prep it tomorrow. I don't think he's been gone longer than a day. All right, let's just make sure some animal doesn't drag it off. Yeah. <laughs> the body, not the person. I mean. The fucking thing like grabs Regal's corpse and takes it away. <laughs> Let him have it. At least he'll serve some good as dinner. Oh my god, this is a jerk. So right. We'll go back to looking around, seeing right. if she's someone else. Well, out in the shallows of the water, you see something bobbing around, <laughs> and it, it looks like a, a stubby little little dwarf is just kind of floating. He's on his stomach, face down, floating <laughs> in the water. <laughs> <laughs> How many people are gonna have to resurrect? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, was, this a, was this a fourth save? I demand a re reboot. Um, if he's out in the water, like Una can't. I imagine Una can't swim. Or not very well. It's not well. So yeah, Tath will drop her halberd and uh, swim out to to Dolgren. You you pull Dolgren to shore. Um, at first, he does seem dead, and then suddenly his eyes shoot open, and Dolgren, okay. you're awake, and you're like, you're full oh, of water. Oh, get him! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I... So I I will now just for fun I will reveal the the hidden fort saves to see if anybody drowns. So there's Taff and Dogren and here's Ray. <laughs> 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 Just so uh, you know, I'm not fuck. I'm not bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so Regal, you guys got teleported into the water, into the middle of the ocean, and Regal straight up just fucking drowned to death. <laughs> like, almost immediately drowned. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, everyone's together. Regal's dead, but everybody's together. Um, it seems to be a pretty small island. Like, it's so small that you could probably walk all the way around it in less than an hour. There's no sign of any civilization or life. And when you look out at the horizon in all directions for, like, hundreds of miles, there's not even, like, another island. It's just, you're in the middle of fucking nowhere. You, you could, it looks like you could sail for days and not hit land in any direction. And Tat's gonna, like, open up her interface and try the, the guild chat and just... Uh, discover fun. that it doesn't yeah. work yeah like, well guild chat's busted it's like all messaging isn't working i can't i can't send private messages can i nope nope yeah cannot send private messages can't send messages at all damn well seems like this is the situation we were tested for for the silver trials i think we we know we can survive this right and this time we have all our stuff, so... Fortunately. Finding a way out of here, though, is going to be the hard part. I ain't fainting. It's like a vacation. It's not a vacation. If nothing else, right. we'll definitely need Regal up to, to, to craft us a ship. I think we could, we could build a shelter and kill some birds and have some chicken. I mean, I can create food, so we don't really need to do that. That's good. I think I think like the like the silver trials, though, we should treat this the same way. Priorities: survival and making sure that we we remain armed and ready for any any hostiles that might come our way. We don't know what's out here. Hey, I think I'll put my feet up. Taff kind of oh. glares at Dolgan. Tilda was also in the in the area when we were teleported here. So she might still be around. Keep your guard up. I'm sure she. I'm sure she drowned. No need to worry. Were we so lucky? So here's Ray's dead. Um, because you, it, it is actually the start of a new day. It's like morning. So I'll actually let you prep because you haven't done your daily prep yet. You, it's like early morning that you've woken up. You don't know how long you guys were adrift, or like laying on the beach, many hours for sure. <laughs> So it is going to be 200 gold times 13 to revive. So it's 2,600 gold to revive Regal. Uh, so I have 130 gold. I've got, I've got uh, 260. I can help you. Uh, yeah. 2,600, sorry. Oh, 2,600. Oh, 2,600. I think it's 260. I'm like, great. We're three, 390 out of 2,600. Yeah, so how do you guys want to do it? Like, do you want to take it evenly from a few people? Or just, it, I'm obviously, whoever does it will be owed. Taff can pay if for it and take it. <laughs> hang on. Uh, Taff, Taff can pay for it and take it out as a debt from Regal. Well, <laughs> Regal has well, almost well, enough money just by himself. Yeah. So. Taff will search his pockets. <laughs> yeah, Uno was going to be well, like, sorry, Regal, but this is kind of to bring you back and start, like, checking his loot and seeing what he has. It's six fifty each if you split it, but if Jeremy's cool with just paying for it, because it is his character who <laughs> drowned. Taff, like I said, the Taff is swimming in, in money right now. She's got 375 platinum. Okay. And 784 well, gold. If Regal has the money on him, that makes sense to just do that. And, and we'll then figure, if Taff wants to be figure it out nice, afterwards, yeah. Yeah, so we'll just take it out of Regal if he's just got it. Well, I don't have enough for all of it. Okay. I have, I have like two grand. I can cover the 60, okay. the sixty so, or six hundred. So you're really you're really close. I'll take two thousand from Regal and six hundred from Taft. Then okay. is that cool? Yeah, sounds good. Or two thousand from Re yeah, two thousand from Regal. Yeah, and I'll I'll so. make the change on my sheet myself. So. Okay. Yep. So I'll just wait till I see that on yep. Regal. Reduce my platinum by sixty. Mm hmm. Yep. And then Regal, you'll have like 15 plat, 87 gold. I mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, worth noting, if the spell's successful, which it is, the creature returns to life with one hit point, no spells, blah, blah, blah. They are clumsy two, drain two, and enfeebled two for a week. <laughs> about, uh, about as useful as he normally is. So. <laughs> Fair. No focus points or spells, so there's there's you out of the game, man. All right, so there, anyway, there's your con your condition for one week because you were dead. Normally, you guys take downtime after this, but uh... did mm -hmm. did Regal go to the river? Oh, he sure he sure did. So, uh, Regal, you've spent the past uh, ten hours or so floating in the river, just kind of like waiting, <laughs> seeing if something happened. But no one came to see him. <laughs> so, oh, yes, God, just the there. Yes, God. No, nobody came to see him. Like all the forces that be were totally cool with him just drifting to the I, ends of the river. I would imagine that, like at least, uh, I think I think Zalura would have shown up and gone. By the way, your build sucks. <laughs> no one. Uh, no the God one of min maxing. Sucks. Yeah, so uh, Regal, you wake up after just floating by yourself in the river for like twelve hours. God, poor Regal. Uh. <laughs> oh, Regal. No one Regal. came to see him. I should have just left him, left him dead. And like... Regal, Regal like regains consciousness, and he just keeps his eyes closed <laughs> and pretends to still be dead. He's like Regal. Regal, you immediately feel a, a pressure in your throat, and it's moving. <gasps> it's it's moving around. <laughs> <in your throat. laughs> I that, think you let's move. And then, <laughs> and then you you vomit up a, a fish. You vomit up like a bright, <laughs> colorful, like orange and white oh. fish onto the sand. It's <laughs> flopping around. <laughs> You're fishy. I know. I know. Death makes you hungry, Regal, but we can get a, a better breakfast. Tackle hit him with a lay on hands. Also, you guys are so incredibly <laughs> lucky that he's only level 13, because look at what happens when they get higher level. It actually goes up quite a bit. So, like, if you have to heighten it if they're above oh. 13th, and then at 400 gold times their level, it doubles. Mm. Oh, yeah. It starts getting really expensive at higher levels. Look at that shit. Like, it's unbelievable. So the fact that you're level 13 is such a big deal. We're saving that that uh, that one up <laughs> for high level. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I forgot you guys have a one up. Yeah. Yeah, it gets really expensive to bring people back. <sighs> is that that river everybody talks about? Uh, yeah. You saw the red lights. <sighs> Wait, yeah. it shouldn't be 42. Too late, I already took it. <laughs> no take back. No takey backy. Six times your level. Or six times the no. level of the spell. Six anyway. times the level of the. Six times seven. Uh, well, yeah, it's 42, not 40. I was thinking 48. Okay, yeah, 42. Ah. Right. Uh, I if feel you guys, like shit. I don't know if you guys want to see it just because it's cool. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll visit it for a sec. So we're going to... Hold on. Let me turn the music off. We're going to simulate just a, a moment of silence for Regal floating here alone for 12 hours. <laughs> hey. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> okay, when's, when's my visitor coming? Everyone else got visitors. Anybody? <laughs> they got they got a cast like pokes his head off from a tree uh, like. Mm -mm, all right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not touching that one. He's bad luck. Uh, absolutely, no one comes to see him. Yeah, I, mean, I, can't, I can't. I can't roll higher than a one on a d20. Well, I mean that's that's Regal's luck, right? <laughs> it's consistent. Regal drowning is gonna be like the highlight of the campaign for me. I'm never gonna forget. <laughs> I roll the I roll a blind fort save for each of you to see if anybody like was like drained from like 
inhaling a bunch of seawater or whatever, but like... Oh, I'm drained. I'm drained as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally died. Taff was drained tonight. going into this. So amazing. I feel fine. Alright. Guys, where the hell are we? Una's just not lucky, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Una did fine, actually. Una rolled pretty high. We're either at the arc, uh, somewhere in the archipelago, or somewhere much farther away. We don't know. Well, considering I can't see any other islands, I don't think we're on an archipelago. Yeah, it's worth noting that when you guys were on the archipelago, you were never out of sight of the mainland, because it's, like, mm -hmm. off the coast. Mm -hmm. So, like, there was never a point where you couldn't at least see the continent. Like, there were points where you were very far away from it, but it was always on the horizon. You never got far enough away that you couldn't see the mainland. And do, and there were also always like a ton of other islands around too. Do we remember anything between when we got teleported and when we woke up here? Uh yeah, you would all have like it's 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 fuzzy. Basically, you got teleported underwater. Mm. So every one of you suddenly was underwater in the middle of the ocean and deep underwater too so like some of you didn't make it to the surface before you lost consciousness like Taff and Dolgren probably made it to the surface but then they were, you were just in the middle of the ocean and you were just treading water in like full plates so like uh, that liquid didn't go full well plate. <laughs> Yeah. My full plate's and super light. Una, Una didn't make it to the surface. She just basically lost consciousness underwater. Regal as well. So, like, basically all you have is you guys teleported into the ocean, like, well beneath the surface. And Taft doesn't and recall seeing Tilda anywhere? You don't. You don't even recall seeing other people until now. Okay. Like, you guys get teleported pretty far apart. Taft, where's your friend? Don't know. Haven't seen her. Didn't see her after uh, after we vanished from from uh, the spire. Haven't seen any trace of her. Taffa like 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 remove her gauntlet to look at the to look at the heart on her hand to see like she has like something of a suspicion of what might happen if one of us dies, but she's looking to see if there's a spade on her hand as well. Nope. Okay. There is not. I have no evidence to suggest she might have died. That's a good thought though. Yeah. No evidence to suggest she might have, might be alive, though. Just keeping my guard up either way. I'm gonna take a nap. You do that. <laughs> you probably need it more than any of us. The, you came back from the dead? Isn't that a really long nap? <laughs> Not a restful one. I am going back to put my feet up. <laughs> well, I think we should look around and find a good place to get a shelter put together, because they're probably going to be here for a while. That's a good idea. If there is anything dangerous, the beach is not going to be a very defensible location. Considering the fact that your characters were just in, like, the horrible catastrophe at the Spire, some of you might feel a little bit of urgency to, like, get back to things and try to help, as opposed to just waiting... Mm -hmm. You don't know if anyone's ever going to come for you. Okay. You might just be here forever. Yeah. If you don't. Ta go yeah, Tath will, Tath will say, like, like, let's look for a shelter, but let's also keep an eye out for a way off of uh, this island so we can get back to the mainland because they're, they're going to need all the heroes they can get. Yeah, there's a little bit of urgency in, in that, like, you guys know that things have gone to shit, so. Tath, who is going to need all the heroes they can get? Everyone's fucking dead. We're Maybe. kind of stranded on an island. I think we should look around and, you know, explore a little bit. Maybe we'll find a boat or something. Yeah, well, tell me what you find. Oh, come on. You're coming with us. I can't even get up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll come with if it means I don't have to sit around and listen to him complain. Now you can get up. Now you can get up. You can keep complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I should have left it dead. Una kills you for 106. <laughs> that doesn't make me any less drained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you feel better. Come on. I'm gonna be cut off my leg. I'm gonna be cut off my leg. So here's the way I see it. 
If the, the guild was founded to defeat the final boss, but I joined the guild to defend uh, the to defend the kingdoms. So as far as I'm concerned, if the guild is is on a on a hind leg, uh, then defending the kingdoms takes priority. And they're if they're short-handed, they're gonna need people there to do that. Screw the final quest until we can get things stabilized again. Tap. I, I don't know what you I don't know what you don't understand about this. Who is they? The, there is nobody left. I mean, there's, there's still be us. Left. Yeah, in the middle of fucking nowhere. Which worth means... just continue, but worth noting, restoration is a spell, and it can reduce clumsy oh. and enfeebled, clumsy and enfeebled by two. Oh. So the, I get to fourth, it can so add drained. To I that haven't, as well. I haven't read restoration yet. Yeah, and then it, yeah, heightening it can get rid of drain. So you can actually, like, Regal isn't just fucked all week. Like, you can actually yeah, do something. Tap is also it. drained one still. Uh. Yeah, so you could actually like help them with their conditions with restoration. Yeah. Anyway, continue. But even if we're stuck out here, we still have an obligation to try to get back there and do our job. Obligation to who? The guild protects people. That's what I'm saying we do. There is no guild anymore, Taff. The base got blown up. As long as as long as there's still heroes willing to defend people, there is a guild. Even if it's All not right, well, a be guild. My guest. Okay, even if it's not even if it's not a guild as an official organization, that's still what I intend to do. Okay, well, you find a way off this island, you come let me know. All right, I will. And Taff will dedicate her search to uh, things that might help us get off the island. We can't see anything. Are we going to swim? Are we going to... A little bit of a loss here. Una's going to start casting Restoration at fourth level on Regal. It, takes okay. it, it does take a minute, so while she's casting it, she'll be like, you don't want to be trapped on this island forever, do you? We gotta get back to some sort of civilization, at least. Well, what is that? What are you doing? Oh, this should help. It is, wor it is worth noting that restoration can only be... that someone can benefit from restoration only once per day. So you could like get rid of Regal and Taft's drain conditions, but you'd have to wait till tomorrow to hit the clumsy, etc. Sounds good. If we're gonna start with anything, I'd prefer the clumsy. Oh really? Yeah. I mean well, Regal's like a hundred percent range based character. Okay. Do you wanna just get rid of the clumsy then? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, after the over the course of a minute you're able to fix the clumsy. Yeah. Thanks, Una. You're welcome. I should be able to help more tomorrow. You can help Taff out, too. Yeah. Taff, mm -hmm. where'd you go? And she'll go running after Taff and be like, sit down, let me do this. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just in a hurry to get back. I know, but we need you at your best. Mm -hmm. We all gotta work together if you want to get off this island. I agree, it's just it would help if Regal wasn't being so pessimistic about it. Yeah, but I kind of see where he's coming from. We did just kind of watch the spire explode. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Well, whether there's a guild or not, that doesn't diminish my, um, my desire to help people. Yeah, but right now we need to help ourselves so that we can help others. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Whoa, Una Mouse. Yeah, Tap like Tap actually goes a little wide eyed with her saying that. Like, <laughs> you forget that Una is an adult, okay? I don't think Una, I've ever Una heard you swear. Like, <laughs> Una, Una just like cast cast create food and it's like sit your ass down and eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you know, even Una's like <laughs> really kind of freaked out right now. So, it's really funny. All right, well, you all kind of get... Actually, did you... I think you did do Korea food, didn't you? Yeah. All right, so do you want to do that? You want to make some food? Yep, I'll make some food. All right, food. finally, some to eat around here. And I'll all press right. meditation it so it 
tastes all yummy. Thank you. All right. So while you all are sitting around your little, like, the beginning of your little camp on on the beach, eating food, Una's, like, restoring everybody. Mama Una taking care of everybody. <laughs> um, we're going to, the camera will slowly pan out on this island in the middle of nowhere and we'll we'll leave out leave off there until until next week. <laughs>